Yes, hello everybody from Knowlesborough. No, it's not France before you say, but it looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Uh, so today uh, we are celebrating 25,000 subscribers, which is incredible, absolutely incredible. Thank you to all the ex-members who came on and wished us all congratulations. Um, thank you. You didn't need to do that, so I really mean that. Thank you very much for that. So today is all about um, celebrating the channel's success. It's not easy hitting 25k, especially when you support a club who are always in the news for the wrong. We don't win trophies, we don't compete in Europe, but for a channel to get to 25,000 is an incredible achievement of everybody who used to be associated and still is to this very day. Whether your help was little or small, you've helped NFTV get to 25k and almost 100,000 following, including the socials, which is incredible, absolutely incredible. Soon we'll hit 10k on Twitter and I believe we'll be the first channel to have a 10k following on every platform, which is, again, the, the work that goes in behind the scenes is absolutely incredible. We want you lot to get involved, whether you're a YouTube member, subscriber, or even a complete stranger. We want you to get involved tonight. It's a free-for-all Q&A, whether you want to ask the channel anything, whether it's to do, do with myself, uh, a football game, match, charity, something about the channel where you'd like to see improve, good, bad, the ugly, whatever it is, get yourself on. We're celebrating 25k tonight. It's a free-for-all. We want you involved. Thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart for 25k, incredible. Thank you. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome. We are live on NFTV and on Twitch. Uh, tonight we are having a free for all. We want, we want you to get involved. Uh, we're celebrating the fact that the channel has hit a great milestone, 25,000. A couple of those statements I've read out are now incorrect because times move forward. Uh, we have hit 10k on Twitter. More on that a little bit later, which is great. And when I said we are the only channel, I, I refer that to the Northeast only channel to have a 10k following on every platform. Just in case, you know, we get corrected. But yeah, welcome everybody. I'm joined by Mr. Sam Mulliner and Brandon. How are you both? Good. Good I'm still trying to work out how you got from that place with the lovely scenic it's... view to, to your back to your studio room so fast. It was just like bang like that. There's a there's a there's a, there's a witch that hides in the cave down there in Norris, but that's why she predicted the future. You see, Sam. So I just magically got home like that. So she can do very well with the Twitter 10k thing. <laughs> Maybe she's not that good. However, yeah. uh, we're going to crack on with the show, but we do have to begin with some of our sponsors, uh, and we are great greatly appreciated for Manscaped. Newcastle Fans Gosh. TV is sponsored by Manscaped, the global leaders in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels and is now available in the US of A, Canada, the UK, Australia, New Zealand and in the EU. We have an exclusive offer for our subscribers. Use the code NFTV to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Join the movement and the other 2 million men who trust Manscaped. Did you know one bloke every hour, every day, is diagnosed with testicular cancer? So this is a reminder to all of the men listening. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Manscaped, in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for safe and easy manscaping, has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Together, TCS and Manscaped are committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men aged between 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors and families impacted by testicular cancer as part of their We Save Balls initiative. While you're down there cleaning up your sack, why not go ahead and give them a little pretty investigation for lumps, changes in any size or any pain? I think we can all agree it's pretty fun playing with your balls anyway. Hey, hey. Manscaped recommends you check yourself once a month. If you do feel any lumps or any swelling, give your doctor a call. In addition to checking yourself regularly, we want to make sure that your sack is looking fresh and clean with Manscaped Perfect Package 3.0. Inside the perfect package, you'll have find all the products and liquid formulations that have been developed to turn your bathroom into a saloon for your balls. 
All liquid formulations use only the best ingredients. Some of these liquid tools do include the Crop Preserver is an anti-chafing deodorant for your balls. The Crop Reviver is spray on ball toner and refreshener. The Perfect Package 3.0 also includes anti-chafing performance boxers that keep your package cool and feeling fresh. Join the Manscaped movement and start taking care of your balls today. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code NFTV at manscaped.com. Always use the right tools for the job. So in the description below, get 20% off free shipping with our code NFTV over at manscaped.com. That's a whopping 20% off anything and free shipping using the code NFTV at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. And let's get back to celebrating 25k. Yeah, so thank you very much to our sponsors. Honestly, this razor is incredible. Sam, you've got this as well, haven't you? I have. Not on me now. I mean, I'm in the kitchen. It's very much an upstairs tool. But um, yes, yes, it is very good. Absolutely incredible. It can shave any part of your body. But yeah, thank you very much to Manscaped. More a little bit on sponsors a little bit later. Just initial reaction before we kick everything off, Sam. Uh, 25k, what's your initial thoughts? Are you happy? I don't know. Is that good? You know this YouTube th stuff better than me. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing well, it's good because well, we're doing this. Let, let, me, let me rephrase that. We're a club who don't win trophies. We don't have plastic following across the world because we don't win anything. Um, we're always yeah. in trouble off the pitch, and it's yeah. all negative. So it, we've done all right, I think. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, that's half, nearly half of St. James's Park, isn't it? So, you know, yes, onwards and upwards. That's what Johnny says. No spoilers when him come, he comes up shortly. Brandon, obviously, oh. um, you, you've you came from literally just a watcher, a subscriber. Then you became a member. And then he became a part of the Facebook team, and now you're going to be moving into YouTube. So you've seen it from the other side as well. So what's your initial thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I, I always uh, I decided to be a member because I really appreciate it and you guys being on. Um, and I was thinking uh, these guys deserve uh, my monthly money uh, or whatever, you know. Um, so then after that, you posted on Facebook uh, something for Facebook uh, to be a Facebook admin and do all the stuff there and um, I was like yeah why not you know why not uh, let's try it I didn't have really had experience never before camera, camera not with uh, editing skills or um, uh, creating thumbnails or whatever um, all kind of posts for Facebook and then I was like I, I want to find out how it works and I actually really like it you know and um, the team is good I think it's a good spirit good crack good banter uh, I, I think it's sometimes good that some uh, people cannot read our group messages on uh, WhatsApp. But uh, um, yeah, and I think it's massive, man. Uh, like you just said, half of St. James's Park. So just need the other half. Yeah, and, it is really good. Brandon gets told off the most, don't you, Brandon? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, but, but story <laughs> of my life. Story of my life. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll not go into that. But yeah, we are inviting you on. You can see the invite. If you want to come on and ask what anything, whether it's regarding the channel, where it's an individual, maybe it's relationship with another group, uh, future plans, whatever you want, there's the link at the top of the description if you want to have come on and ask us a question. And uh, we've got Steve who's been waiting very patiently so we'll bring our good american friend in steve steve how are you mate doing pretty good what about you guys what about you not bad good, steve. Okay. Good. so steve um as far as i'm aware you're are you fairly new to nftv as the watcher i would say so yeah yeah and i've got to say this because i think the lads will appreciate this as well that your donations, especially on the watch along, is just you just you just chuck you just chuck money at NFTV. You're literally just funding the channel alone. He he, he once uh, donated uh, ten dollars to ask me if I could check my private message on Discord. So, <laughs> you know. Steve, are you a secret millionaire? No, no, I'm gonna shut down those rumors to those uh the Saudi Arabians. No, I'm not gonna. No. So, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself, Steve, first of all. 
Um, well, I'm from, originally, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I was born there and raised there until I was about 13. Then I moved to uh, a state called New Hampshire. It's up in the East Coast. Uh, four hours from New York City, four hours from Montreal, hour from Boston. So it's kind of, it's it's all right living here. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, football. I, I, I always call it soccer, but we'll, we'll, we'll say football, but um, right. it is my absolute, it is my absolute joy. And I mean, right now I'm watching the game. I've got FIFA on, I've got sh- like, it is, it is 200%. Um, <laughs> I just saw a comment, Arbor's, Arbor's still closed in the USA. No, I like, I like well, welcome to NFTV where you get the piss took out of you all the time. That, that's what the comments are there for. Um, don't take that to heart. But yeah, yeah you, know, you always seem to be watching the game all the time. I've never known anybody, and you and I were obviously Discord constantly as well. Did you say this game? Did you say, like, how is this how is this lad got enough time to watch all this football? Do you do you just sit and watch about eight games a day? Sometimes, yeah. Like I watched uh Locomotive Moscow play Siska in the Russian yeah. Club. What? Uh, yeah, we, it's on. It's on ESPN here. On ESPN three. That's incredible. That is mental. That is dedication. I can, dedication. Uh, yeah, I watch. I watch Russian, uh, Turkish Super League. I watch MLS Championship. Like I'll, I'll League MX. I'll, I'll watch. I watch it all because not only is it fun, but like you get more informed. So if someone comes in. If Newcastle buys this player from, I don't know, Stuttgart, I watch Stuttgart a lot, so I'll actually know what's up. And now I'm like, eh, I don't know. Because a lot, I feel like a lot of people, um, you know, I don't know if tons of people, maybe no one follows it as psychopathically, maybe you could say, as I do. <laughs> I um, I don't know. I just I, I like watching it a lot, and I like seeing the differences in leagues and fan culture and – Playing style, all that sort of stuff. It's just neat. But just to make clear, Newcastle is uh, one of your favorite clubs, right? That's, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I, I just, just, just to get that bucks, out of the end. Eighty bucks on the uh, purple nineteen ninety seven away shirt. So that's oh, coming. No. So if so, we are linked to any player over the summer, you're the man then. Yeah, for sure. I, I yeah, you're a version ball. of a club scout. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, brilliant. absolutely brilliant. Steve, is there anything that you would like to ask uh, any of us individually or as a group or what you like about the channel, improvements, anything? Um, yeah, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask, um, I'll ask Sam. So you are from, you live, so you're technically is your local club, I think Wolves, right? But you don't support them? Kind of, yeah. I'm in the middle of, um, I suppose Wolves is the closest Premier League team. Then yeah. uh, on the other side of me, there's Stoke, and then you've got all the Birmingham teams. And yeah. but the lo- the local team is a little team called um, Telford United, and Indeed. on the other side of me is Stafford Rangers. But they're both non-league. Yeah. So nice. I, I don't I don't I don't support any of them just because none of my family were into football when I was younger. So yeah. you see, Newcastle yeah. was just the first the first team I watched when I was little, but. I didn't know that they were 220 mile away from me. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, and that's, that's, that's kind of my situation. I got my dad a little bit into, into football, but he chose Arsenal because he likes the Canon logo. (laughs) But, um, but yeah, I, I come from like a similar thing. Like my family isn't really into it. So I got to kind of just like, I was like, okay, I'm from Chicago. So I like Chicago fire and you know, stuff like that. And I, you know, I get to kind of, my allegiances because I wasn't like raised into one necessarily, so it's 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 cool and it's cool that Newcastle's one of them. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it yeah. is. I mean, supporting supporting your local team. I mean, I, I'd be. I don't know. I I just never saw the appeal of supporting Wolves or Aston Villa just because they were. Down I, I mean, I do. I, I mean, I do, Sam. So just to put it on record, I support my local team. You know. No, 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 no. But but my, but, but my <laughs> local team isn't technically Wolves and Aston Villa. Yeah, it's, it's the non-league ones you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I still, I do kind of look out for them, the local non-league teams, because you obviously want them to do well and, I mean, just survive financially, yeah. let alone 
especially yeah, in the well, yeah. So, so Sam, do you have some sort of sympathy though for uh, the Wolves or Stoke, or not at all? No. Fair enough. <laughs> there you go. Fair enough. <laughs> And Steve, I know it's going to be short, but thank you very much for coming on because we're going to crack on with the show. And oh, as ever, I'm, 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 I'm glad sure I was a very sick. I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll see you on the fan reaction show after Liverpool, no doubt. Um, yes, 7 30 a.m. Let's go. Wow, that's commitment. That is commitment. Thank you very much, Steve. No problem. Take care, guys. Good man, Steve. Cheers, man. Cheers. That was Steve who jumps on the fan reaction show and um, he's becoming a regular on that, which is great. Now we've, we've just found ourselves a scout, which is great. For, um, I'll constantly. save you how much for buying Y Scout last season, this season. More on that later. Um, <laughs> so I'll touch upon because that was a, a bit of a disaster. Uh, there was a question that came in. Um, the dogs like Newcastle fans TV. Um, funny should say that because I've been sent a couple of photos of actually when we've been on TVs uh, via Instagram. Um, dogs have actually been watching Newcastle fans TV, so maybe we're gonna have a dogs fan TV. <laughs> Is that where Is our subscribers have come from? Pop, maybe from the owners, yeah. <laughs> right, uh, another one. Graham's has said, um, "Do you have your non-league soft spot?" Um, I try to go to as many non-league games as possible. Obviously, the COVID stopped that, but not really. I'd probably, if if you push us and put a gun in my head, I'll probably say Gateshead because they're on the time, mm. probably. But um, yeah, that would be mine. Telford. Brandon, who's yours? None. You know, I'm from the Netherlands. I don't support any non-local team here. If, you just hate Ajax. It, 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 fuck off Ajax, man. Come on. <laughs> don't, let, don't, don't make me swear on stream, man. Seriously. Oh, yeah, I mean, why didn't Brandon Upscott have been saying Ajax is a bigger club than Spurs? Um, with all this U European Super League, um, James will bring you in very, very shortly, but we'll get cracking. Um, with basically where we're at in terms of numbers, we've also got Matt and Johnny coming, and we've also got the ex members as well. But I just wanted to say where we're at in terms of like numbers and what have you, yeah, on NFTV, because it's also we are celebrating the fact that we've got 25k, but we're also going to give you a, a bit of an insight of what we're thinking and future plans, which. I guess it is a little bit risky because we're having ambitions. We're maybe giving some of our, um, I don't want to say rivals because they're not really rivals, maybe ammunition of what's coming. But as you've seen on the channel, we've seen a lot Shut of people. Up, come, we've seen a lot of other people come from the channel, come on as well. But these are the figures at the currently at the moment. And uh, with Twitter has just gone over 10K, which is fantastic. And obviously, we've got another one which is over a thousand, which is NFTV uh, Extra. Instagram's on 10.7k at the moment. Facebook is absolutely flying, 48 and a half thousand. And then with Facebook Group has 2,700. YouTube is 25.1. And then NFTV Extra, 1.6. And as you can see over on the right hand side, we're almost at 100k. Uh, Sam, them numbers are absolutely mental, aren't they? Yeah. Very good, very impressive. I mean, I've still got some work to do on the Twitter, but um, you know, not having that for a couple of months didn't help. Yeah, that's, it's, that's it's amazing. It's, it's amazing as well, though. Look at that Facebook. How that's um, just kept on growing and growing in over the past year. It's remarkable, really. And I have to say, it's hard work though on the Facebook group. I can tell. Uh, I still post sometimes, but uh, it's hard work, you know. Because th th let's not forget, we also have jobs. Beside this, you know, this is all for free. We do, we put our free time in this, and uh, you know, you need to keep checking on the new sites, uh, Twitter, let's so say, and uh, also make uh, some sort of nice photos that you crop out the player and put it in some sort of situation. It's like loads of stuff, you know, and people don't see it, but it it, it takes easily, probably easily one or two hours on your on your day, and let's not even forget on how many hours Lee puts in besides his own work. Or Sam, or the other one, everyone. Basically everyone. But. Yeah, whether it's big or small, we're celebrating as a group tonight. Um, obviously, I will a couple of shout outs. I'm sure Sam will get a mention of one or two a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I think that obviously all the, the work and everything, we are talking predominantly about YouTube, but we just wanted to highlight some of the figures that we're on at the moment. And there's a lot of graft in particular. Twitter was the big one because it's been a bit of a stumbling block to try and get that to 10k and that was the target when sam come in and you know it was it was i was updating it late at night and wasn't getting much traction and then obviously when sam come in 
that allowed me to go and do other stuff as well. And he would focus predominantly on Twitter. Don't get me wrong, I do chip in, but it's in three quarters of it's now Sam who runs the Twitter and as well. And Sam, you three quarters? Like, I would say three quarters of you, yeah. Most of the stuff. I'm are you saying it? Are you saying... <laughs> um, but it's it's a good achievement and with you might you've met you might you might have seen this um, yourself, but the second one I'm trying to spin that more in towards the under twenty threes and the women's um is a niche for that. But um it was a stumble block as Twitter's were if you want to call it business accounts, because that's where we get we're followings from journalists, footballers, presenters and what have you on there. And that was the last thing ticked off. I'm like, come on then, let's get it, let's get that 10k and Obviously, you, when we hit 10k, Sam, you were doing five to go, four to go, three to go. We're having literally <laughs> updates every 20 minutes off you. Are you delighted? Uh, yes and no. Um, yes, because finally done it, but no, because it's about time, and I thought I'd have done it sooner than what I did. But um, you know, the, the it is what it is. I'm still learning all the time, and it's abundantly clear I'm not as funny as I think I am. So um, half half the stuff that I think is really good doesn't really get as much traction as I think it. But um, there you go. Every day is a school day. It, it's good fun. Um, and most of the things, whenever I do fuck up on there, people think it's you, Lee. So uh, I seem to get away with it. <laughs> yeah, and just for the record, it. Not all me on Twitter, just staying that right now. Oh, no, um, 100% it's me for all the yeah, time. Yeah, but I'll always, take, I'll always take the flack, yeah. Oh, that's that's common knowledge, isn't it? Um, So there's with Twitter, and we just want to come on to um, how do we make money because it's nice that we get a bit of money, but like Brendan was saying a little bit earlier on that we are doing it for free. None of us have a wage, but it's great that we're getting a little bit of money, as I say, touched upon earlier, Manscaped are paying us to promote their products which is great and that money goes into the channel and it's sitting there if we need it which we'll come on to shortly spider vpn which need approached us as well they're sponsoring another couple of newcastle channels as well and then the other one is google ads from youtube goes into the channel as well and then the rest of it the likes of ebay amazon sovereign bi52 three rep row youtube membership and facebook ads that's all down to everybody in the group to make their own money. So if they were to upload a Facebook video that has over three minutes, that can put ads on it and they'll make money. I know, Brandon, you've been battering that the last few days as well. And it's a nice little, not incentive, but it's just nice to see a little bit come back from all, all of these companies. And let's not let's not kid ourselves. These, some of these are absolutely huge companies that want to work with us. And again, it's a proud thing, isn't it, Brandon? Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think the big one was, uh, which we really hope to get in, uh, uh, was manscaped um and uh we had that one over the line uh, i think we were all the, very delighted with that especially to make the videos uh, uh to do the promotion with uh i i also like uh, I, I like all, all all sponsors because i like beer beer 52 i got a few shirts already from free retro uh, i got a boxer of manscaped so yeah it's it's it it is uh, it's there are sponsors that i can cope with like i i how you say that that suit me, I'd say that way. Yeah, and it's great, and it's they're not the only ones. We've had some in the past as well, which are all on the website, and um, it's great that people want to work with us because we have tried to clean up the act and make ourselves a little bit better in terms of audio, sound, lighting, and graphics, and what have you. And this is what our outgoings are currently at the moment. So we've got to pay for the website. We don't have any ads on the website, and that costs us £160 a month. Uh, a month, not a month, a year. Oof, it was a month that we put out of business. Um, we've also got a video subscribe. If you don't know what that is, uh, that is where you might have seen it on the channel where there's a few drones and I'm doing overlays and speaking. Um, that's something a little bit different. The StreamYard one, which is a huge, huge help, and you see loads of other channels use StreamYard. StreamYard, every, every, every channel that I can possibly think of in the Newcastle world is using StreamYard. We've got the full version, which is the 1080 and 8 devices. That's a lot of money. The podcast, the reason why I brought that up, Sam, because you wanted to um, renew the podcast, but I had actually had a look at this, and it's going to cost about £130 to get that um, as the premium version, which we're looking to. And then Canva, so th this graphic on screen was done on Canva. So already that's 885 that the channel has to make just to break even. 
and that's not including anything like equipment repairs, graphic design. So what I mean by graphic design is new logos, intros, which we are going to be looking at. And the big one, of course, is studio hire, which has been a bit of a me banging ahead of a, of a brick wall of late because we've got no success, which is really frustrating me because I wanted to all get together, especially with lockdown. Um, so that's the outgoings. Brandon, does any of that surprise you? Because you've probably not seen that before. Uh, well, you you told me, and I know uh, this is going on. Uh, yeah, no, actually, no, no. Uh, only thing I didn't include was uh, uh, the, the equipment repair, but um, I might need to work on my uh, to repair my own equipment. That's why we had some problems starting up uh, with the uh, with the audio, um, and yeah, now I'm streaming from my phone. And uh, I, I just can I get a real quick head head up? I've got thirty percent left on my phone. Uh, I, if I die out, uh, I probably won't make it. So uh, through the whole through the whole episode. So so that's probably why we're going to pay Brandon the wage now. But for example, <laughs> um, this camera broke, and this is what we use for the fan cams and stadium and stuff, and that cost about two hundred and fifty quid. And that was December two thousand and nineteen. So that's what we buy equipment repairs and stuff. Um, but yeah, Brandon, if you do disappear, that's fine. But we'll bring in James because I know James has been waiting patiently. James, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Jim, how are you? What have you been doing? What have you been life? COVID? Uh, I've recently just went back to school, but I've gotten to this college time met. College. Well Congratulations. Sport, sports uh, course I'm doing. Oh, yeah. We, well done. Well done. Well, we've got you on. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you've been on the fan reaction show quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um. Is there anything that you like about the channel? Anything you want to see change, good or bad? Uh, well, I've been watching uh, this channel since the championship days. All of them time, times when we were in the championship, I've started watching like this channel since then. So uh, I've liked everything since then. Like I've been watching it for like five years now. So I like I like everything what goes on. And especially since the fan reaction things uh, come on because uh, through lockdown I struggled and I needed something to do. So the fan reactions kind of helped us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's me teasing Brandon at times as well. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon with his big yeah. arm. Brandon shows yeah. your arms. Shows your arms there, Brandon. <laughs> oh, like a muscle on no, that. That, that <laughs> joke's dead <now. laughs> But no, the, the only thing, the only thing that James probably gonna say, what we have to change and uh, improve on and make better is probably the, uh, kick me from the channel. That's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be. Oh, oh that's... No, I'm, I'm pleased it's fine, James. James, because the fan reaction show was to try and give people a voice, mm. because. Nobody's going to listen to um, an American Steve or Jane Atlanta, Jay I can say, yeah, uh, or somebody in South Africa or somebody, you know, they don't have a voice, they don't have a platform. And I think that's what we give everybody, whether they choose to come on or not, that opportunity to express because I'm no yeah. different. To, I'm no different to Jane Atlanta. He's got the same passion as me just because I'm five miles away from the stadium and he's 5,000 miles away. We've all got the same love and passion. We should all have a voice. So yeah. I think that's a, that's a good, really good point, uh, James, that you've yeah. said. When uh, also when I've been on fan reaction, it's kind of helped with my anxiety and everything as well, which I struggle a lot with. Brilliant. Well, that, that's, that, awesome, that, that's touching it. Be obviously if it helps you uh, speak and relax a little bit more because we all love the club and we all want to, you know, see the tune day well. Yeah. And it's frustration if it helps you to anything like ease your mind. That, that's what we're. That's what we um, give you a platform to do. Yeah. Sam. I don't think you're alone there, James, either. I mean, it, it, I mean, it helps um, me as well, like doing this stuff through through the lockdown. It's given me a purpose because obviously I was on furlough for seven months. And if I didn't have that oh. to do, then I'd have driven myself crazy. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think you're alone at all there, James. But, yeah, fair play to you for... for, yeah. for but, I mean, I, the only time... Well, my outstanding moment of you on the fan reaction show was um, dropping the C-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, I was really, uh, yeah, I don't want to swear, but paid off that day because I of what it. happened. 
Because I was literally absolutely angry, really, because of what happened. I've also got I've also got a memory as well that you were trying to sneak on, and it was later on at night, and I think your dad was trying to tell you off. <laughs> well, he was trying, I had school the next morning, right? And he he uh, wanted us to get have an early night or something. I was like, no, I want to play, play on my Xbox or do the fan reaction or something. I want me to see a Newcastle get lost, huh? I love, I love <laughs> uh, yeah. Anything you would like to see changed? Like, once, like, uh, like the uh, fans are allowed back to the stadium, uh, I would like to say what we used to do, like, do fan reactions outside the stadium. I would like to see that happen again. I, I quite like yeah. that. But I didn't ch- get the chance to... Uh, get on as well because obviously I had other things to do. Yeah, that that could be an idea that we bring back. I know we do it occasionally in the away games, mm-hmm. but I think with the workload, I think that's why I put a stop to it. And, and fan the fan cams weren't like booming; they weren't getting like ten thousand views and what have you. Um, uh, but it's still a voice for local fans to come on and say. But it's something that we could look at definitely if if we have the two sets of teams. On a I match think, team, which I'm going I to come especially up with. very bigger. When we have a bigger team now, it's more possible to do one, right? Possibly. We could always have a go at it. It's just because of the workload originally, it was too yeah. much. But it's definitely something we can look at. Away games, we definitely do one or two. Uh, I know Fordy loves to jump on all the time. I knew he would get a mental. He'll watch at me later on the night because I, <laughs> I dropped, I've dropped his name in it. Um, but yes, <laughs> it's something that we can definitely look at. If it's not me, if it's somebody else, great. And the idea of 5G around mm-hmm. the city centre is definitely going to help as well. There's a few areas yeah. around the ground, but yeah. But uh-huh. James, thank you very much for coming on, mate. Uh, thanks for having me yeah. on. I hope uh, people see you on Saturday after a positive result. Then at Anfield, God. <laughs> right, we're going to go a while back under Rafa. You know, two 0 down. You know, we're going to one of these superpowers European Super League teams who will have a bit of faith. That absolutely bugged me. That oh. I think it, I think it bugged ninety percent of Newca- uh, Newcastle fans and fans in general. Yeah. But right, James, we'll love you and leave you. Thank you very much for coming uh, on. Thanks, thanks for the feedback. Yep. Cheers, James. Uh, so that was really nice, wasn't it, Brandon? That um, it helps fans vent their frustration and anxiety as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and uh, I can relate as well. Uh, it it always made me uh, something to look out to, for. You know, like when it was Saturday, Sunday, or a Friday night. I was all the whole week ho- looking out for the game and making videos, making contact first. I was always uh, insecure in front of the camera and not sure if I did well or whatever. Maybe I still don't, but uh, now I can't care so much anymore if people find my, myself offensive or sexist or uh, call me uh, delusional or whatever. So yeah, it, it helped me out for sure, especially oh, in those times. Martin's came over a van set up as a small studio. Can you imagine that? If we're just sitting in a van, people are going to think we're detectives or something. Some we are going on outside. Imagine if you're doing and like that's... fan clips in a van and you just open the back of a van and you're just like. <laughs> you get arrested. You know what we would look like? We would look like the, the uh, bang boss. You know that? The you guys the know what I'm talking about. The bang boss. Yeah. Are they there from no, Holland? No, no, no. The bang bus, uh, it's something oh, uh, oh, where, oh, where oh, is some oh, no, no, bang bus. Oh, no, it's like, uh, to on some it. adult website, <laughs> there is a I thought you said a... bang bus. I was gonna, no, where is it? <laughs> the it is, uh, oh, is on some nudity no, website, no, adult websites, and then you know, they, they get guys in, and Carl probably knows what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, crazy. Callum, if you want to come on, um, at the top of this chat, there's a pinned link which you can come on and it's in the description as well um jane atlanta is coming on in about five minutes jay we're just rattling through a few of these questions as well. i hope i can make the next five minutes yeah i'll be fine uh, go charge your phone up in another location brandon sorry go charge your phone up in another location i can't because i'm streaming from my phone and i'm using the headphone as in the jack and uh yeah i can't ch- because hey, i have a samsung it's a very high tech the- operation we run yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> Change Paul's name to Dutch I, I have to continue this joke that keeps going on with the live streams as well uh, Ryan nice comment there well done Lane the rest of the team on to 30k well done lads as well 
Uh, Steve, again, uh, it was down, he's still actually watching us behind the scenes. If you guys need any graphic design, love to help. Um, Johnny asks, have you got a favorite co-host? Yeah. Is it me? <laughs> I'll just say yes to you all. No, I, you know what? Yeah, no, I, obviously, I approached Johnny about the Greenwood and Mulliner show. And, you know, there was a reason for that at the time. So, you know, read into that what you will. But this was obviously before the days of you new lads. And Lee wanted something, someone to do something else, like that he didn't have to be a part of. So I thought Johnny was a good fit because he's kind of proper presenter and I just kind of vibe it. That's how I thought. Well, if I get someone to to do the like the boring presenting bit, I can just do whatever <laughs> and and look what happens. It's kind of snowballed from there, and we've done forty shows. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, did it's, you did you have yeah. some great show, uh, guests on? By the way, have I had? Have we had some great guests on? Pfft, the bears shit in the woods. We've had Lord. I'm sure we'll touch upon shortly. Lord, yes. are you that guy who interviewed Emma Shearer? By the way, might have been. <laughs> And Brandon, and Brandon just just so I can jump on the bandwagon a little bit. I'm the guy who made him look good as well. Just so I can jump on the bandwagon. Uh, how far do you want to take this channel? I think the rest of the lads will know this is the studio idea I was kind of was pushing it has been very, very tough in COVID, trying to get late games on a weekend, especially was literally a no-go for a lot of places. But um we might revisit that, but with nicer, warmer weather, um, places like hotels, lobbies, stuff like that might be the next best idea. And Adas just asked with 25k subs, you must get some sort of income. Just gone through that. Um, rewind the video. We don't get a wage, but the channel definitely gets some money and that just sits there as a pot ready for something that we need to purchase or a studio hire or I don't know, it could be Yeah, but like money. we don't we don't make like proper money or anything out of the channel. Nah. Do we? Sometimes it's a ten or twenty here and there, but so the the, yeah. the sponsors all kind of like get reinvested and pay for stuff. Yes. Le uh, Ollie's asked, Lee, is there anything you would do uh, that would make you think about leaving the channel? Um everyone's still... pen and paper. <laughs> I think um you know, the, the dream job is to work for Newcastle United, isn't it? Without Mike Ashley. That would stop me from working the channel because that wouldn't be allowed, would it? Um, do you know, like, to be, like, a commentator or manager of Newcastle or what have you? But that's not really? Really, that, well, that, that's not realistic, though, is it? They're, they're, they're dream stuff. But I think um, I would only ever leave the channel if I, if I lost the love for it and I've still got the love. Don't get me wrong, last summer um, I had a massive, massive come down. I was like, I'm sick of this. Because I was doing a lot of work, which I'm sure we'll touch upon in the challenges um, in a second. But, and big shout out to Heaven who are in the FA Vars final, went to their grounds and done a non-league vlog, which was great. Um, let's move on to uh, challenges, and you guys can chip in as well. These are just some of the ones that I've put. Uh, the first one was um, the huge changes in July. Um, you know, you talk about the the amount of people who left, uh, who were on asked to leave, who left on their own accord, uh, kind of mutual as well. And then the amount of people that were brought in, that was like, I think it was only, what, me, Sam, Johnny is original. Was that right, Sam? Uh, I think so, yeah. And then we changed it all. So that was the... the and you got to remember at the time, I hadn't been here long. Yeah. So it was huge changes and people like, oh, you aren't going to do as good. You've lost two big powerhouses on Facebook and it's NFTV is going downwards. Those were the things that were coming up and like, oh, you aren't going to do anything and that's the end of them and what have you. And obviously that's completely opposite. We went the other way, which we'll talk about the successes. Um, the next one, which was a right pain in the backside for me and Sam, because we do a lot of work behind the scenes, was the copyright strike by the club itself which was we couldn't go live, as you can see underneath, we couldn't go live on YouTube for three months. So if we were doing a match day, for example, we would do all the videos, we'd have to pre-record them and then upload them. Whilst we're live, well, pre-recorded on the, on the next video. I mean, can you remember that, Sam, for three months when that was torture for a... A lot of late nights. Okay, thanks for your input. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, a lot of like nice. the pain in the ass. What and, more do you want to say? I'll expand on what I felt very 
not so much betrayed, but I felt let down by the media at Newcastle United Football Club because they went back a little bit on their word. There was agreement in place that if we use any of NUFC's TV's media, if we give permission on screen and in the graphic, then we were allowed to do that and they went back on the word, which well, this that goes to show you everything about the club at the minute. Um, Sam, I'll let you talk about the next one because the Twitter suspension for two months. Yeah, that was um, that was fun. Um, so we were, I was very, very close to 10K. I think it was about 50 away. And then we got hit by a German company um, who Always put a copy- the copyright claim against us because I'd used a GIF that was already in the Twitter database of Callum Wilson celebrating. So Lee had to appeal and stuff, and it, they admitted okay, it got overturned and whatever, but we were still waiting in purgatory for ages for Twitter to just reactivate our account for ages and ages and ages. It was an absolute joke, but um, that brought um, kind of challenges aside from, you know, because I I'd, I'd, I'd book pretty much a lot of the, well pretty much well i book a lot of the guests that appear on the channel so and i've used various ways of doing that twitter being one of them so um but look we got there in the end and it everyone lived happily ever after but i'd, I'd rather them not do that again yeah i had a very aggressive sam um i wasn't aggressive hungry as i'll call them if, if the hungry we you hungry he was hungry for a back so i'm gonna call it hungry oh, and just miffed it was because, like I mentioned earlier, that was like a business account where we needed the following. We've got some big names following on there, and it's the kicking the teeth and wrongly, and I had to chase it, and I was getting setbacks, and I had to keep replying, and I was getting sick of it. And we were, and we did for literally 24 hours rebrand where second Twitter account to NFTV because we thought we've lost it. But I give it one last kick. I'm going straight to the top. So anybody who's had a Twitter account suspended, he has a little tip for you. Go straight to the top. That's what I'd done. I went to the legal... There uh, was a woman in one of the heads in uh, Twitter, and I went to Jack Dorsey, and eight hours later, I had my account back. So that's how we got it. And obviously, we're, Sam was celebrating, and he was out with the moon with it, which is great. Haven't um, So that was a challenge. Keeping up with uh, videos during the week, so you've always got to think, right, Newcastle don't have a game for two weeks. Newcastle don't have a game for seven days, ten days. Uh, this is pr- predominantly me that's got to come up with these ideas, which I'm going to touch upon the rest of the lads a little bit later. Uh, that's me having to come up with the content during the week. And then the other one, which I've talked about a little bit earlier, was fear of a burnout. Anybody that could be me, Sam, Brandon, on this, on the, who's watching, or uh, maybe one of the Facebook lads, or Johnny, they might just have a burnout and need a bit of a rest, which is rightly so, something to do. Um, so I think that's right that, you, yes, we love it, but we kind of do this 24 hours every day. We do need a little bit of a break sometimes. So that was a fear, of course. Is there any other challenges you guys want to bring up? Uh, yeah. Uh, like, when I was on the Facebook team, uh, there was... The, uh, that you really had to post at least three things a day. That that was... Sometimes there was just barely news or something, and you have to find something and, yeah. you know... Uh, or sometimes your days get totally you get surprised by your day and the time that you had free or planned in for, for posting on Facebook uh, because of some circumstances what happened on a day some something coming in between uh, you were not able to do and then you feel quite, quite guilty you know but on the other hand like there's also not much or it, it's sometimes it's difficult to combine with your, uh, with your normal life but that, yeah, that was my uh, yeah, because you were brand uh, new social media, weren't you? You were brand new social media. Well, not brand new, but I mean, in terms of getting, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I used it for me for my personal so, uh, social media, but that's it. Martin, Martin's uh, who's part with team. Thanks for the hint, Brandon. <laughs> you guys watch it as well. Bang Boss, come on, right? Yo, I think, guys, um, new ways. Jay has been waiting very, very patiently. Um, there is somebody else who's waiting called hi but we can't see your camera you need to turn your camera on for us to see you but we'll bring in jay um jay was obviously hello mate um had mm-hmm. a question a tongue-in-cheek question which i put on the screen just before jay about sam oh 
I'll give you a reminder. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny how things work out, isn't it? Yeah, so originally I was I signed up to do Twitter and I was writing an article once a week for the website. And then when I'd go to games, then I'd be part of videos and stay around, stick around for the weekend for the, the old radio show. And I was supposed to, this was obviously pre-COVID, and I think I was, I did Wolves away, didn't I? And then, Lee, we went to Arsenal. I came up for Norwich at home. We always have, something always happens to you on an away no. day. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think yeah. Lee just pulled you in and said, it'll be easy. Don't worry, buddy. Just a couple things, and it'll all be good. <clears throat> yeah, I know. And then, but, but this is the thing, um, like, if you, this was one of the things with COVID. Like, if if it wasn't for COVID, I'd have been on the... After, I think, the last game I went to was West Brom away, that 3-2 win in the FA Cup midweek. After that game, I was down to go to three more games that season. That was it. And that was me on the channel for the rest of that season. But then COVID hit, and now I'm on it all the bloody time. And we've done 40 Greenwood and Mulliner shows. I've interviewed so many people. That wouldn't have happened. That would not have happened if if COVID hadn't hit, which is, I don't want to say COVID was a great thing for the <laughs> channel because it obviously wasn't, but it, it's just bizarre right, that you've got to turn these horrible negatives into some sort of positive one way or another. And I suppose that was kind of my way of keeping busy and not, whilst I'm not at work, it, it's given me a brilliant purpose to pass the time and give me half an hour away from the children every day. <laughs> just, just a question real quick from me to, from me to Lee uh, that just pops in my mind. Uh, would I be also on the channel if COVID didn't hit? Part of yeah, the channel. Yeah, because you remember the whole turnaround last uh, year. Yeah. That had nothing to do with COVID. It was okay. Okay. the idea last year was how can we get everybody on a camera without being at home in StreamYard. Every YouTuber uses it. Everyone uses it because it's so easy to use and so flexible. So no, but um, I didn't. Then, no, then there's no co uh, positive thing about Corona for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's that it maybe a small positive that, that, thing. But. That's why. That's why I haven't put COVID as a challenge because <laughs> it hasn't for the channel. Right. Because right. being able to go and get Alan Shearer or Solano or do a black and white show with oh. WhatsApp interaction, fan yeah. reaction showing. Think Solano that. was so cool, so yeah, cool. Solano. So interviewing, Nob interviewing Nobby Solano from his mom's house in Peru. That's just it. Doesn't get better than that. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Now we haven't got Jay on just to stroke our egos because Jay always says some really really nice stuff about NFTV. So this isn't planned. Trust sure. me. Um, but Jay, you've been a big big fan of what we do, haven't you? I certainly have. Um, I was telling some of the other guys recently that I don't think you guys that live in England, even if you don't live in Newcastle, really appreciate the kind of vehicle that this channel is for a foreign fan. And not just someone like me who has really come out of my shell and is on the channel a lot, but just be having access to local people and what they think about the club almost day by day is completely different. Like go back even 10 years and you'd be maybe reading something on the internet and consuming whatever the club put out and, you know, a few news clips and that's it. I mean, that, that was it 10 years ago. And now it's been a long time on the internet since then, but this channel is incredibly valuable. And I think most likely for other people around the world, like myself to just have access to this information and you talk to us and you chat to us. I mean, it's, it's, it's just an incredible vehicle. It has, frankly, changed my Newcastle followership, right, um, uh, for me personally. And I just cannot thank you guys enough, you know, Lee, and all the people more. that have come and gone, all the people that have come and gone that are still here. You can see how much work this is. Like, this is a lot of work to produce this content, even streamed videos like this. And I just really appreciate it, folks. I mean, I really appreciate it. And huge thanks to all those that have been on this channel over the years. Thank you, man. Andrew, yeah. Are you going to it now? yeah I, I wanted to ask because of this channel did you uh start supporting it more or or how should i see it uh, differently i got really mad after was it 13 we did well and then stopped spending money i don't have a mind like a trap like sam does uh but that 
that year after we finished high in the league and I was like, Hey, maybe something's happening. And then when it, then it just went to crap. And I was like, I will never spend another dollar on this damn club. Right. They do not deserve my money. I'm not going to buy another ESPN subscription. I'm certainly not buying another kid. I've got tons of them in my closet. So I would follow, but I was uh, hacked off, you know, about the club. And then Rafa showed up and that was like a, that was like somebody turned the lights back on. Like, I was like, how has this happened that this man is at our club? And then, so that went well. Of course, the relegation, it was somewhere in there. I started paying more attention on the internet and I did find this channel really before it's kind of big blow up, but it was some extra stuff. But I would say, I don't know, I sent a message to Lee, I don't know, probably like in 2019 or really something like that. So, hey man, I like your channel, please keep doing this stuff. And so it, since that time, it has changed how I follow and perhaps the energy that I have with it because I don't get to relate to Newcastle. I got one guy that I know over here that supports Newcastle and I've only known him about a year and a half. So it's a big deal. It's changed my viewership a lot. Thank you. You've got a you've got a question from Robin, which kind of asks all of us the same question, really. Uh, at the very end there, Jay, if we if you were to be asked by NFTV, it'd be part of the channel of some sort. Do you like how it is, or would you jump on the bandwagon and get involved? I would be involved if I if two things if you if I were doing something useful that I were passionate about it myself and that we're actually helping your brand, right? You know what I'm saying? I would, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you're the captain of the ship. And, uh, you know, as long as we're doing the things you want, I, I would do that in my right way. Uh, I, I'd be flattered to be able to do that, honestly. So <clears throat> you and Steve could have an MLS show going right there. <laughs> Steve is another sharp guy, man. My mind is filled with like business stuff and not so much the sports facts. Like, I watch you guys do the challenges and everything. I'm like, wait, I know this. I know this. Oh, crap. I don't know this. Like it just uh, some sharp cookies on this channel and the analysis, too, even from the fans. And I guess that's another point. I'll just be fair, like one of the things that really brought me to the channel was like, uh, you know, some of the lads at the time just going off, providing sharp takes and being upset and being really passionate. I will say that in a lot of ways, the fans that come on and give their comments, you know, there's real passion and some sharp takes from people all over the world. And I think that supplements the channel a great deal. Right. I think that's a kind of cool thing you guys got going here. Yeah, the fan, the fan reaction show will will stay even when we go back to games. That has to stay. Yeah, sorry, Sam. Um, yep. the, uh, no, I, I'm just agreeing with Jay because the thing is that we all like watching this. Like we watch every Newcastle game. Like pundits who are paid to on telly, or whatever they don't. They yeah. they just watch the game they're paid to watch, and they have no unless you're you know Alan Shearer, who obviously has a genuine love for for Newcastle United and. It's a fantastic pundit. None of the others over here do. You're not going to leave us behind when you all go back to the matches, are you? Right? I'll be back to yelling at my television <laughs> and my wife thinking that's crazy. No, do you it's... know what? Uh, I, I I think Jay, when this is all like I'm um, when this COVID and all that nonsense, I think you should get yourself over and uh, come to a game, and um, we'll hit the bars. That is that is my plan. My, we're we're working on a deal to get back over there when it's safe. Do some Northern England, Scotland stuff. And uh, if yeah, any of you guys ever make it to down. Atlanta, I wouldn't really recommend coming to Atlanta. It's kind of boring. It's a fine city. There's just nothing <laughs> yeah, much going on. Yeah, if you do make it here, I'll take you to an MLS match and I'll blow your mind with what the hell is going on over here. It is. Do, do, do you mean Atlanta match, not MLS an match? Atlanta match. Yeah, I'll take you to an Atlanta okay. match. It, it will, <laughs> it will yeah. change your perspective for sure. Telling you, Jay, I've just went to the lakes yesterday myself. Come over the lakes, get to Scotland, come back down, get Newcastle, two Newcastle games in, sorted in a week, and then we'll it's literally gonna... we'll get you on the channel every day, every single day. Um, so you'll be like an American in Paris, except an American in Newcastle, right? So... Remember Chris? Chris did it from Australia, didn't he? He came over and he got involved as well. He was on a few videos, which, which was great. Um, Can I say something to Jay as well? Because uh, he asked yeah. us, like, uh, the, the fan reaction has to stay and uh, the videos we make. Uh, of course, I'm in the Netherlands and they are in Newcastle or the area around. Uh, I will probably, I think, if I could understand it correctly from Lee, where we sort of talked about it, that even if the games are on, I'd still do a watch along or still do a fan reaction show with someone else uh, of the channel, right? If I'm correct, Lee? Yeah, Jay, get yourself on. Put yourself with a torment of watching the full game with us. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's not... I get myself together for five to ten minutes at a time on this channel, but it's ugly. 
I mean, it is ugly on my own over here, right? In. Well, I mean, I wanted to say, like, <laughs> we'll probably still be dead on YouTube, even if the guys are at the match. Okay. And, right? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to talk about that very shortly. Uh, Jay, is there anything, anything no. that you'd like to see changed? Anything improve on? Because we need constructive feedback as well. Yeah, I would just say that we could all work on our audio at times, right? That that yeah. hacks people off when we have noise in the background, and and we I, I think we all know not to do that, right? Even when I'm on the channel, I'm like, crap is everything, you know, where it's going to be quiet, my door closed, I got a screaming cat, I don't want to get loose in here. Uh, Good job. I, just yeah, think that, I think a higher standard. I don't think people care if a video is not that cool, right? I don't think that really ticks people off, but I think I think audio noises really piss people off, and we could do right. better there across the board. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much, Jay. Well, Jay has been absolutely. Yeah, Lee, um, buy us all microphones. Yeah, well, get, 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 get. You have microphones. Sam's got a microphone. Brand has got a microphone. Carl's no, got it's a broken down. I just told you. Oh. <laughs> I know, it's, 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 no, it's no joke. We were struggling before stream with my with my audio. So really. you asked for feedback. I gave you no, feedback. Appreciate yeah. No, I appreciate that. I really do. And it's funny enough you mentioned that because that's what uh, I blasted the lads about last last uh, week's uh, fan reaction show. So great man <laughs> to think I like. Um, Brandon having a piss on live streams. Lovely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I I want to say thank you very much for popping on mate do appreciate it yeah good times lads cheers eh? <clears throat> right um carl's got out of, out of his um, who doesn't love jay in atlanta yeah. and i love the oh, fact yeah. that he still types in jay in atlanta every time he comes on <laughs> yeah it's not jay is it so it's just it's like jay a it is actually like a surname. atlanta is actually his surname no it's not because no, I, know no. real name. I know he's real name. I know he's real name. You had your... I was thinking, is it? No, no, it's easy. <laughs> right. Um, we'll have Carl come on in about five minutes, but we do have a couple of uh, videos to rattle through. Um, I thought it would be nice to mention some ex-members of ours. Here it is. A huge congratulations to Newcastle Fans TV for reaching 25,000 subscribers. It really is a fantastic milestone for the channel. Now, I was part of Newcastle Fans TV for three and a half great years. And during that time, with the help of being part of the team, I managed to achieve so many things that I previously would not have believed was possible. Hi everyone, it's Anisha FC here. You probably haven't seen me on Newcastle Fans TV for a while, but I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to them reaching 25 thousand subscribers on youtube is a massive achievement congrats on hitting twenty five thousand subs guys it's been a fantastic effort from lee starting this channel and been crazy throwing his uh remotes around in his uh in his lounge room and smashing things up to everyone who's been involved um all the presenters all the co-hosts over these uh three or four or five years what's happening everyone he's missed with yeah he's missed with um mm -hmm. it's good to be back on the channel um obviously yeah, it, loads of memories for the 25k special. Obviously, um, myself and Paul contributed so much to the Facebook page and Mark as well. Uh, over the over the three year period, had some good memories. Paul, obviously Tottenham, uh, West Brom, loads, mate. Hi everyone. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing okay and keeping safe. Nice to see you again. Wow, 25,000 subscribers. It's kind of crazy to think that when uh, Lee started the journey in 2016, and I hopped on board that uh, five years down the line it will hit 25,000 subscribers and that you know even that it is five years down the line is it's still really really crazy um Newcastle Fans TV was a great time for me really great experiences and helped set me up for going to uni and trying to pursue careers and doing um you know broadcasting sport media hey guys it's me Isha huge huge congratulations to everyone at Newcastle Fans TV on reaching 25k subscribers it is such an achievement and it's very well deserved the hard work and graft that everyone puts into the channel deserves a lot of recognition so that was our former members thank you very much if you want to see the full video of that that's over a couple of days back on the channel so that was really nice i thought it was important and i must stress every ex-member was asked to come on uh, which was great to see so many of them jump on and they've been part of the success in this journey, little or big. 
So thank you very much from me. Um, of course, we are celebrating. Uh, we're going to talk about the successes very, very shortly. But uh, there's a couple of lads who can't make it tonight. And of course, they've got to be involved as well. Um, and here is Matt. All right, lads. All right, everyone. Unfortunately, I can't be there with you live tonight. So I thought I'd just drop by and say a massive thank you. Thank you to everyone that's watched, liked, commented, taken part, or most importantly, subscribed to the channel. 25,000 of you now, which is absolutely massive. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that we'd get here, but here we are. Massive thank you to everyone that's been a part of the videos over that time. Everyone at Newcastle Fans TV, all the guests we've had, everyone that's taken part in the live fan reaction, and even little things like commenting on the live streams. They're all contribute so much to what we do here and it's massively rewarding to see you guys subscribing to the channel and giving back to us like that. We are Newcastle Fans TV, we're here for the fans, we represent the fans and hopefully what we do reflects on how you feel about us. I want to say a massive thank you as well to Lee and the gang at Newcastle Fans TV for giving me this chance and for making me feel like one of the team. I know I've not been a massive part of the videos over the past season or so, my work schedule isn't the best when it comes to football but hopefully going forwards, I can be a bigger part of this. I've absolutely loved the eight months that I've had here. You know, I wore this shirt on my first video. I thought I'd bring it back for this one. But yeah, massive thank you to everyone that's even tuned in for one video or up until the guys that are members and taking part in every video. So thank you to every single one of you. You all matter to us and it's massively rewarding to see you guys doing that. It's not been a great season on the pitch. It's not been a great year overall, but it's been massively rewarding to be part of this team over the course of that time. So thank you to everyone that has made this time so special for me. And hopefully we can continue with even better things next year. Co come on, we can stay in the Premier League. We're so close. We're nearly there. And hopefully you'll see more of me next year. But for now, enjoy the rest of the video, lads, and have a good evening. Thank you very much. Very optimistic, very upbeat as ever from Matt. And Matt's biggest fan is sitting in the middle uh, of me and Brandon. You absolutely love him, don't you, Sam? He's very, very good. Um, he's he's gonna he's gonna have like a proper job doing something like this one day. I have no doubt about that. It's just frustrating because um, we want to see more of him on NFTV. But um, he, he's so bloody busy with work and whatnot. Um, it is what it is, isn't it? But yeah, he's, he's, he's cracking his mat. Kind of reminds me of Will back in the day because Will's went on to go on to do uh, working for Accrington Stanley, Salford, Man United in the 23s. It reminds me very much um, of Will. He's got great charisma on screen, Matt, as well. So fingers crossed we'll get more of Matt next season. Um, but we haven't just forgotten about other presenters as well. We do have Mr. Greenwood. Here he is. 25,000 subscribers. Well done to everybody involved because um, when I came along, we were just under 16,000 and it's a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. And, you know, I've, I've seen what in particular Lee does on a match day before the pandemic and after the pandemic and during a pandemic and whatever. And then... Um, Regardless of what happens in a game, there's so much work that needs to be done. And, um, you know, a big congratulations to Lee in particular because he did create the channel. And 25,000, that's a lot. That is a lot. That's a, that's nearly half St. James's Park, just in YouTube alone. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice little achievement and to play a very small part and get into 25k. Um, yeah, very, very happy. And, Look, it's going to be it's going to be fascinating to see what happens in the next few years with this channel because I think you know this channel will only get better and better. We are by far the most dedicated channel on the platform. You know, we have videos coming out left, right, and centre. Facebook's you know booming, Twitter's booming, and Instagram as well. It's just there's just so many different uh, platforms that we're doing pretty well in at the minute. And if we can get a team and a manager to match that, where else, where, where could Newcastle fans TV and Newcastle United end up? Because it's about the club. We love what we do because of Newcastle United. Now we can criticise Emil Kraft and Javier Manquio. Sorry, Sam. Um, <laughs> but that's what we want to do. We want to talk about Newcastle United, but we want to talk about doing well. And if we can do that, well, it makes, it makes this a lot easier to do. But a big thanks to all the subscribers, the subscribers. Um, Without you, 
there is no channel and without your help with liking videos, sharing videos, um, subscribing to our platforms, telling your mates, you know, it isn't as successful as it is. So big thanks to everybody and a big well done. Um, sorry I can't be there because of work commitments, but I'm sure you're all having a great, uh, a great time, but, um, I'll try and see if I can get in the chat if I've got two seconds spare <laughs> at work. But if not, I have a great time talking about memories, talking about Newcastle United and Newcastle fans TV. But yeah, <sighs> hope we can get three points on Saturday and Liverpool to make it a good, uh, a good week all around. But from myself, Johnny, I'll see you all very, very soon. So that was the second best co-host to Sam. That was Johnny. Thank you very much, Johnny. Um, couldn't resist the right back dig though, could he? Standard. Change the record, mate. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, Johnny has been, um, he's the second longest serving person on NFTV now. Um, Johnny joined uh, about, about two and a half years ago, roughly. Um, I think even Johnny would admit his presenting skills have come on leaps and bounds as well. He's totally different to me. I always class myself as quite an emotional presenter. Um, I'll tell people how I really feel. Not that Johnny doesn't, but I mean, like, I express it, whereas Johnny's more reserved and thinks before he speaks. Um, so we're two, two, two totally different people, and you've got big time from having you, Sam. Go on, stroke his ego. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, um, yeah. Like, um, I, I, I said, that, um, remember when we did an Instagram Live about a year ago? Like, yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I said it then, like, when I first came up, in November 2019 to do the radio show just as a, a guest on the fly after we beat Bournemouth 2-1 um, Johnny presented the radio show, uh, radio show that night and um, really impressed me so yeah he's, he's, he's very good and he's someone that I can bounce off and um, he, he writes like the kind of loose so I produced the Greenwood and Mulliner show um, Johnny kind of writes it like as the kind of plan for the he plans all the interviews and whatnot and then i just like vibe it treat it as a conversation rather than it than an interview so that takes the pressure off me quite a lot because you know he can pull his weight as well so yeah it, it's good fun and they're, they're really really good i mean some of the some of the people we've had on is just absolutely mind-blowing and it's just you've got to pinch yourselves like from every walk of life not just ex-newcastle players but journalists at the top of the game we had george colkin in nearly in tears one week it was so so emotional and brilliant and if you haven't seen that one go and watch it because it's it is the best one we've done um, with george and um so many so many great guests and and heroes of ours that we've just been allowed to to kind of interview and, and bounce off and and some in some cases keep in touch with as well it's absolutely crazy it is some of the names in our phone books is mental um right we'll talk about successes we'll bring Carl in just a second but brandon what's your no pressure here what's your favorite video on nftv oh I don't want to get into Sam's eyes, but I really <laughs> liked. <laughs> really, I don't. Uh, but I really like the Nobby Solano of Green, Greenwood the Millionaire Show. Really, oh, uh, of course. I, I, I've, I've, I've of course always have uh, the watch alongs that I really like. Not that I'm on it, but I, I really enjoy doing that. But uh, that Nobby Solano interview. Uh, yeah, he seems so genuine man, and uh, such a cool guy. If you go to South America, he's he looks like some man where you're gonna bump into, have a beer with, and great conversations. Uh, yeah, and he, and then he says, "Did you know I actually played for Newcastle United?" I never tell. Maybe you didn't know. You don't recognize me, but I played for Newcastle United. And he tells you these crazy stories. I can imagine me with uh, no, not knowing Nobby Solano, and bump into him and have a beer with him on the beach, and he tells me all these crazy things. You'll but yes, you'll be on his trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think what I think mine before we obviously get Sam is the wave log. That's what I love. Um, because it tells the story of my day, but a fan's day. And there's always something stupid or funny happens at some point on the vlog. It could be like Sam waiting an hour to get a ticket, for example. Um, it could be something that happens on the way there, and then there's the match itself. 
and then driving back home as well. That's what I like. That's my favorite uh, video on NFTV. But it's a shame we kind of do it. But that might be coming back. You, you, you know, it's videos are liked as well. Uh, the time that we were so close to getting taken over by the Saudis. Uh, but I hated these videos at the same time as well. And I was keep refreshing all the time, Newcastle Fans TV, to get more news. But it was a pain in the ass. But I, I was also watching if a new video of the takeover came out, I immediately clicked it. Uh, that's why I was becoming a member as well. So, sorry, crack, crack only. Yeah, Sam, over you. You want to see Green with the Muller now, aren't you? No, um, yes and no. That, and I do like scoring the players because that kind of. Um... I like the ana- analytical side of, of things and going over certain players' performances and, and putting people straight on a few things, Mr. Greenwood. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoy that. But um, never in a million years did I ever think we would do watch-alongs. And it, it's sort of, this is such a cool... I've set you up perfectly for this, Lee. I, oh, God, you know what's coming, don't you? Because I'm bringing Carl in, in the second. Exactly. And, and the thing is, it's, the, the watch-alongs were all, were all down to Carl. There he is. <laughs> and, and I won't lie, I was very, very sceptic on uh, watch-alongs. You know that. I was like, I don't want to be filmed watching... Newcastle because it could go viral for the wrong reasons. So <laughs> um, when Carl and it's credit to Carl because you look at it now, we've now turned the, not just a watch long to now a pre-show as well before that for a good hour. And I think I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do one like. But credit because you at the time we couldn't go live on the first channel. It was a great time to experiment on the second channel for for a few and try and get better. And that includes myself in terms of getting better layouts so it looks better and so on. But credit you, Carl, because if you look at the the figures now on the watch-alongs, um, that's just not just yourself, it's everybody else as a part of it. The watch-alongs are now averaging between 8 to 10K for the last three or four, which is incredible, isn't it? Absolutely. It's um, For me, it was like, you know, I've, I've said to you, I'm quite, I am very competitive and I do watch what other people are doing. I do look at numbers and metrics and things like that. And you had like the Red Men and, and obviously um, Goldbridge were doing the watch alongs. I thought, why not try it out? I thought it was a perfect opportunity. But it was more because I was sick of watching the football on my own. I hated it. <laughs> like I was absolutely sick of it. I thought, what better way to, to do something than to, to, we've got a platform where we've got people that engage all the time and get everyone involved and have a bit of banter with it. Um, yeah, and it's just blossomed into what it is. But you, you know, even Johnny was skeptical about coming on up until three, four weeks ago, and he had been absolutely brilliant on it. Like good everyone, look, he's a good look, Tom. He's a yeah. good look, Tom. But like everyone's personality shines through on there. I think everyone's skeptical about it, and then you get on, and like it's just like being out with your mates. So yeah, it's been fantastic. Now maybe Brandon's uh, back. Brandon's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, did, he, did, he did warn us at some point as well. Um, yeah, there's always in even the watch alongs as well, Carl. There's we don't always talk about football. There's something <laughs> there's, there's there's like countries and politics and what's your favorite movie, pubs, yeah. pints, and what's your favorite alcohol <laughs> drink. It, it just all goes on. Obviously, you've you've got a little bit bitey towards a few fans as well, which is quite funny. Um I forgot where I was for a moment sitting here and I got the water and start shaking it all over the place. <laughs> and obviously I've got a big monitor there and I've got me Mac there and all sorts. I'm just totally forgetting this. So it's a credit to you because I was like, oh, I'm not keen on this. But if you look at it now, it's the biggest performing video by quite a distance on a match day now. Definitely. But it, like, it was kind of an idea taken from what people were doing, but I couldn't have done it without all of you lot. You know, I could have gone and done that on my, on my own channel, for example. It wouldn't be anywhere near as successful as, as it is on here because we've got a fantastic community and we've got all of the people get involved with it. Like, it's not just, I couldn't do it without everyone else. Like, I, I couldn't. Um, you know, I'd probably last about 10 minutes trying to engage with everyone and probably just end up being an absolute mess. So it's, uh, it. I think... Although it was kind of my idea, what it makes it is everyone that's on there and everyone that we engage with. Yeah, well, we haven't yeah. forgotten about screams. I know Adam hasn't been on for a while, but he started the screaming off and now Johnny's kind of took that reward away from Adam for the uh, high-pitched screaming. Well, that was it at the start, wasn't it? It was like, obviously, Carl, as you say, it was your idea, but at the start for the for the first God knows how many, it was you and Adam, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those things as well where, 
something happens and everyone just runs with it like adam screams for a little bit now it's turned into johnny screams or it'll be johnny and sam's uh disagreements between certain players and like those right. things carry on and it's just, everyone has banter with it all the time like everyone remembers it and then like you say you know we'll, we've had more than enough bad games this year so we do end up talking about everything other than football which is always funny as well i think why people like our channel is because we're so genuine and i think that helps um i, I think the platform that that we have just helps prove that we are just you know seven eight eight normal blokes just wanting to have a crack with everyone you know we do take this seriously but when it comes to the end of it we all just want to have a bit of a laugh with each other and enjoy the football well, what I did appreciate as well is if fans say, like, I prefer this watching more than uh, than the game, actually. <laughs> well, that's what I said. They turn the telly on mute and listen to them rambling on. Yeah. Because at least, at least you get with us, because we've tweaked the watch long for right? Let's have a build up show. Let's get everybody yeah. in. Let's, let's build up. Let's talk about the past game first. Move on to the next part. Um, proper analysis for an hour, because the TV companies don't. You might even, sometimes they might just get 10 minutes. And then it's straight into a game, and then you've got then you've got two adverts in them ten minutes. So that's I think we're tweaking it, and look, we're still learning. And even next season, where we could have things like ideas of such like we could have, I don't know, I say scoring the players. One of us could be at the game doing it with someone live at the same time, and la the last word and match reaction and what have you. We can do it like one person, like going in to see what it was like. Um, Brandon, you're a big part of the watch along as well, so credit you because you're literally on all of them now. Um, you kind of get away from them, well, so you must really enjoy no, them. I really, I really enjoy it, and I want to thank uh, Adam and Carl for giving me that opportunity. Also, Yuli, uh, Sam making the lineups for uh, every week. Uh, thank you for putting me in the watch alongs. I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, plus, I, I, uh, my phone was almost dead. I just want to say thank and uh, everyone of the, the channel uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, I know you take the piss out of me sometimes, that's fine. Uh, I try to take the piss out of you some now and then as well. This probably doesn't work as often as you guys take the piss out of me. Uh, but I appreciate you guys a lot. And if we meet in, uh, in real life, uh, I, I buy you all a beer. Or, uh, yeah, man. Uh, thank More you so much, what? seriously. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, seem, I still Dutch, you know, so... <laughs> just drink some. I'm, I'm still will be fine, man. Just get with more. Uh, look, look, look. For, for, for you know, Brandon, none of us could do this when English isn't your first language. We couldn't. Yeah. We couldn't do this for a Spanish team or anything, or a Dutch or anything. So I mean, credit to you when English isn't even your first language. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I mean. Cheers, Sam. Thank you. And do you, do you remember what heed the ball means or heed the ball? Yeah, I do that all the time. So you heed the ball, are you? Yeah. So but, Brandon's not right in the head. He's just admitted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you 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 paint this picture of me uh, with calling me all the time the crazy Dutchman. So yeah, um, guys, I think my phone is gonna die anytime soon. Kick me off the stream. Thank you so much. Right, good luck with the show. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brandon. We'll Shout out, lads. Shout out. Um, Martin's in the comments as well. He's just said that, uh, be honest, lads, I was watching all the different channels for weeks as I wanted to watch football with the lads. Eventually, I chose NFTV because it was an honest bunch of lads, and now I am a helper. And it goes to show you, it's not just Brandon, who was a watcher, subscriber, member, and Martin. Martin's exactly the same as Brandon. He's kind of took the same path. And the big step for you, Martin, is coming on camera, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? That's the next big step for you, son. Get yourself on camera. Obviously, there's no rush because obviously Martin has just literally joined as well. Um, Carl, what's been your highlight so far in the what eight nine months you've been with us? Everything. I don't like. I've I've only had one negative, and that was you know not really related to the channel. I put myself in that position. I won't talk about. It. I think people know what it is. <laughs> Everything has been positive, other than that, and that was my own fault. But literally, I think. Like I said, the the match days have become more enjoyable again, um, and it's allowed me. Like I, I listened to James talking about his anxiety and stuff. I know a lot of you know that I deal with that sort of stuff, and I've always wanted to get into YouTube, and this has like just helped me tenfold. Um, I've always been quietly confident, but probably more of an introvert, and I've sl slowly kind of doing a one eighty on that. I think so. Like every, just meeting you all, you know, I'd, I can't wait to meet you all face to face. Like other things, like um, you know. Sam offering me to come onto the um onto the the preview for the for Aintree for the Grand National only two three weeks ago like 
these are things that I, I want to get in, involved with, with all different sports. And I just feel like, you know, everyone's so welcoming on here and uh, and in the chat that, you know, it's, it's just the community in general, mate. I just love it. Love yeah, it. We, have, we have improved as a group. Um, not, some, not It's not reputation, but there's relationships with others as well, uh, which you talk about we've had Magpie Channel on, Magpie Group, yeah. Collaborated 360, War Flags, um, Nust, True obviously, Faith. Sam, True Faith, Sam's a big part of Nust. I'm on the council, step back a little bit with the socials, but I'm still very much helping them out, let them stream on the platform and just building a relationship with other groups. So that's what we've massively helped, um, proved on the last, probably last six months or so, which is really good. But is there anything you would like to see in the future your own, Carl, in terms of um, the channel or whether it's a second channel, anything at all? Uh, I think studio space is a massive thing for me. I know that's something yeah. that you want to do. I, I just think that we generally, like Sam and yourself has said, we put, and, and Johnny said in his video, we put so much content out that ha having a studio space, as silly as it sounds to people, like that alone will just drive the numbers through the roof. Yeah, And with that, we get more opportunities to do different things. So I feel like, you know, we're more than capable of, of being able to, rival the sort of content that the larger channels put out like AFTV that sort of thing if we had the infrastructure and I think lockdown has prevented that but I think we're really really close to be able to get to that sort of level in the next five to ten years I think you could do that I think had the the takeover gone through I think we'd have skyrocketed that way so yeah, yeah I think that I mean, sense great. That, that's where you two obviously like because I don't have the knowledge of other channels because I just don't have a clue because I don't <laughs> yeah. YouTube's not my world, believe it or not, and here I am. But you're learning still, though. You must have picked up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, I am. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm a massive consumer of of YouTube channels still, but I I know a bit more than than I did, considering like I didn't even. I said a million times I wasn't really that aware of you before I joined. <laughs> so, like, I wasn't aware uh, of you either. <laughs> exactly, and the thing is, like, whenever like my time it is to, to go one day not like it's any time soon or whatever don't worry but like no one will ever see me again <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever see me again i won't be doing anything others this is it's it's nftv all the way for me but uh yeah i won't be doing anything else yeah as a question then from a solar fan what do you guys uh reckon purely for the sake of the derbies or would you just prefer them to stay where they are call I'd love to have a derby day with them again. I would. You know, it's all we like to take the mick here and there, but I'd love the the opportunity to have derby days with them. Um, you know, albeit it hasn't been the, the most successful thing for us in the last 10, 15 years. But yeah, I want that back hundred percent. Great one, Andrew. What we can do, he has an idea. If G and Atlanta comes over, all of us and the members will just go on a big massive piss up around around the big No, do you school. know where we'll go? Do you know where we'll go? Tell us. Go on then. We'll go to Olivier Bernard's pub. <laughs> yes. Do it. Who will ramsack this? Um, right. Gina Lantner Lee, can you comment on why you guys had to leave any one uh, which turned into Nova? Don't know if you can have said yes. I think I think we'll briefly touch upon it. I think it was a case, and Sam remember this. It was a lot of niggling between the two, between us and them. And I think we wanted a little bit more flexibility where we had to be there at a Sunday at 6 p.m. every Sunday, which caused, it was causing more and more tension between us, where we wanted our own freedom, hence why the birth of the Black and White Show was about, where we can put it on the Friday, we'll put it on the Saturday, we'll put it on the Sunday, and still have that interaction with the live chat and WhatsApp, and no other channel has that. Um, of course, the Black and White Show is a lot of process, because you've got to do your research, it's not just you can go live, you've got to do a find out all the news and put it up on the stream. So that's basically why. And then it was a, lot, a case of uh, arguments over subs and what basically subs were was money. Where was the money going? They wanted us to pay more than some other presenters because it was more people, which we didn't think was fair. Whereas one person would pay five and they wanted 20 quid of NFTV, which was for the same two hour slot, which was wrong. And where was that money going? So that was the the, the debate. That's basically why we walked away from it, which a lot, was a risk. I think it was only Johnny who wanted to stay. I think it was pretty much unanimous, the rest of us, to go. So there we go. Mason's, Andrew's wanting Mason's. 
Mason um, Dom, Blythe, that's Ollie Bernard's pub. Is it who's your favourite WWE superstar? Carl. Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin for me. He was the man. Go on then, Sam. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, yeah. No, I used to watch it back in the day when I was when I was younger. Um I liked um Undertaker. Solid Mike choice. Goldberg. Goldberg. Another solid choice. Oh, Bill Goldberg for me. Absolutely loved him in WCW. I had a soft spot for Sting as well. I loved him as well in the night. Well, he's he's in from the police. No, man, not not Sting from the corner. <laughs> Sting, Google him. Um, who's the worst with jokes and bad puns since Rob's left? Liam. Uh, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> quite bad. I mean, completely polar opposite jokes from the one that like Rob's did. Yeah, but, yeah, Liam. Liam Brown, Liam. Absolutely. Um, Brandon, Shit. you can take us there, but none of those bars exist anymore. Um, so we'll move on. Carl, are you sticking around? Or do you want to shoot off? I've got another five minutes, if that's all right, mate. Right, that is fine. We're going to move on to the successes, because obviously we talked a little bit about negativity, um, but the channel has had a ton of successes, which would probably be, uh, you could talk about guests, you could talk about um, the amount of views, targets hitting and what have you. Um, what's yours, Sam? Uh, just off the top of your head, what's the biggest su- success? What the uh, what the biggest? What as in one single thing? Yeah. What's your biggest? Is, is Shira for you? Oh, my biggest success. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I suppose interviewing Alan Shearer is kind of a big deal, isn't it? And then him following me on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not heard that. <laughs> that that took weeks to sink in. <laughs> like genuinely, that took weeks to sink in. Um, it was just up. Absolutely, I still can't get my head around it because it's just crazy. Like, what, what, what was I doing? Speaking to Alan Shearer and like having a crack with him, and and it's just, oh, yeah, it's just absolutely. It was just the best evening ever. And shout out to my uh, lovely wife as well because I had to literally just like run upstairs, set everything up, and and get it all sorted whilst she was dealing with them. Um, the kids uh, during meal time, which is a challenge, as you will come to see, Carl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Greenwood and Mullen a show. I'm really proud of that and um, how that's evolved. And some of the people we've had on that, as I say, is just absolutely ridiculous. I've still got like a list of my phone. There's still plenty more to come. We're recording a new one on Monday. Um, join hit that join button if you want to find out because the members always find out first of who we've got coming up um it's just massive it's just i've learned so much and had so many opportunities and it's just all been brilliant like even even like directing the um the big be a game changer quiz like yeah i was just clicking the buttons didn't do i wasn't on screen or anything apart from like the pre-record um quiz questions that I did for our section, but clicking all the buttons, I just, it was just like, it's not like a normal show where you've just got the odd things to click here and there and it doesn't really matter. But the, there was so much, so much could have gone wrong that night and, and nothing really did. So that was an achievement in itself that I was quite proud of. I was just proud of editing 112 videos. I mean, that was itself <laughs> a torture. But we'll move on to the successes. Um, Callum, I can see in the background, we'll bring you on after this uh, section. Um, Perfect for Carl to answer this. How do you think the new lads have settled in? I see. I see new. You've been here eight or nine months now. Ah, yeah. I, I, it feels like we've all known each other for ever. Like, yeah. The, the the what's the 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 kind of vibe that I get from the WhatsApp group is exactly the same as I get from the one where I've been uh, with my pals for 15, 20 years. So, um, yeah, it's just. I obviously didn't know what it was like before, but I've had brief chats with you both about what the issues were and I've had none of that. There's never been any malice or, you know, even when we pissed each other off, it will just be like, there'll be a couple of, well, it's not even, people will tell each other straight um, and, and there'll only be minor things that will get left at that. But the rest of it's just hilarious. It's absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah, well, I love well, it. Well, yeah that's what we had. You're right. Because, um, and then again, I don't want to dig anybody out because I'll probably get a message if I do. Um, this is not digging anybody out, but the morale before July was, was quite toxic. And 
since then all the new lads came in, it's totally different. It's like it's we're winding each other up, and mm. um, it could be me who's picked on, then it could be Brandon, it could be Sam, it could be anything, anyone. That's the banter that we've got. I think everyone settled in. There's a there's a bit of a hook with everybody that love it. Uh, they love what they do, whether it's putting out a post or whether it's talking on camera or whether it's a new ho- host or new show and what have you. I think it's brilliant. Um, every platform over 10K, I'll quickly move over from that. We've now hit it, which is great, um, which is brilliant. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, the boom of the Facebook page that's been mentioned already, that's going to hit 50K very, very shortly. It's on 48 and a half, which is mental. Um there's five or six of us that work on the page and push that really hard. YouTube, obviously, we're here tonight celebrating it. Um, the amount of NFT extra uploads has increased massively. Um, even the last 48 hours, Carl, you've done a, a couple. We've had Brandon on there. We've had the Green One Mulliner show. Um, so the amount, hopefully that continues because we want to get that channel monetized, which will come to very shortly. Be a Game Changer campaign is a big privilege to, to get asked last year and continue again this year. Sam so touched upon the, the quiz, which was massive, and I was bricking it at the start because I've seen the amount of numbers that people were watching. I've never seen that before. And obviously, um, I was after about five minutes, I settled into natural, which was great. BT Sport continue to ask us for clips on certain videos. The sponsors that approach us, we don't chase them, they come to us. The online quiz to touch upon the watch along videos, which we've touched upon, Greenwood and Mulliner show. Relationships with other groups, which have improved massively the last six months. High caliber of guests. I mean, go on the website, newcastlefanstv.com, and have a look at the list. There's too many to name. Or subscribe to the Greenwood and Mulliner show on Newcastle Fans TV on all good podla- podlast podcast outlets. <laughs> <laughs> Easy done. Easy done. Big profiles following NFTV. Yet yeah, there's some huge names. Design of the website, that took me a good few weeks. And I wanted to revamp, and I'm really, really happy how the website looks. Brandon, will you stop WhatsApp and me? You can probably hear it going off in the background. Um, th- and more articles on the website. We've seen an increase of that, uh, which is fantastic. Remember, the website doesn't make any money. It just highlights other stuff that we have on there. And, of course, the big one at the bottom, Sam's help. Without Sam's help, uh, as I say earlier, when I felt a burnout last summer with a lack of help off screen. Uh, that has massively helped me to relax a little bit more. So I'm not doing like 95% of everything. So thank you very much, Mr. Mulliner. Those uh, are the successes, Carl. Is there any in there, any in there, Carl, that you like? Uh, you, it's easy to say all of them. But the the big, I think Sam, what Sam and Johnny have done with the Green Wood and Mulliner show is massive. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of those things that I would watch if I wasn't a Newcastle fan because of the caliber and like the, the, um, the difference in people that are on there. And I think that's something that myself and you would like to kind of, um, not copy, but, you know, we, we'd like to get the sort of success that they've got from that because it's brilliant. Um, and the the big quiz, because I'm so su- such um, so involved with mental health outside of this, like that for me was like a really proud moment. And, you know, I wasn't involved. So the work that you all put into it was just, you know, fantastic. But just that being, a, the channel being a part of that was a, a proud thing for me. That was so hard not to tell everybody. We've got, Kira, we've got Gabby Logan and Martin Dubravka and Ant and Deck. It was so, so tough. But obviously, I was running around doing Shira celebrations and everything behind <laughs> the scenes, uh, which was great. We're going to look at um, popular videos shortly, potential videos to return, match the next season and short, medium term goals. But we'll bring Callum in because Callum, I know you've been waiting very, very patiently. So sorry for the long wait. How are you? I'm um, right, thanks. And how are you guys? And congratulations, congratulations for your 25k. I'm great. Cheers, and thank, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, Callum, you've messaged the Facebook page for the last couple of years and commented on a lot of stuff and jumped on a couple of times on the fan reactions show. Um, what's your favorite video that we do? Um, I say probably scoring the players. Um, and see your reaction. What's going on the get the, the game? Hmm. It's a couple of people have said that, so that's good. That'll uh, Sam will be happy about that because he's on that quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, um, is is there anything you would like us to see do mm. in the future? I like to see the um, the sort the scoreboard, so you know who who scored or is it goal one nil? You know, like. 
bit similar to the Magpie channel. Yeah, is that like a on a on a watch along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, we are working on that. Carl gets asked this every time he comes on camera now. Um, I've got some of the stuff, mate. It's just actually getting it out. So it's my fault. We all have it. I promise. I promise. I promise. Um, there is a workaround as well, which we could look at towards this weekend, which I'll talk to Carl off camera about. Um, there is a workaround. But yeah, we're working on that. Um, going into next season then, um, Callum, are you going to be going to many games yourself? Unfortunately, no, no, because I'm um, I live in Coventry because I'm a bit far away. So sometimes, normally every August time, I normally see my granddad. But unfortunately, last year after you know the lockdown, so the last time I see him is since 2019. So I just hope I see him this year. Once I get my me and my family get job done, well, me for first time and the rest get the second time. I just hope. Well, fingers crossed you get the same. Why didn't you get yourself an Aston Villa game? You know, you can pop on next door and Carl lives near you and, you know, you can get yourself on a fan cam and away you go. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, if uh, I'm ever not at a game, I might have to come and meet you, mate. We'll do it that way, definitely. There you, there you well, go. If we'd be lucky, uh, I shouldn't say that, if we're lucky, even Newcastle got relocated and nearby the Rico Arena. I only live about five, ten minutes walk. Well, five minutes yeah, well, if I'm thought... ever in the area, mate, I'll have to get in touch with you. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to be it. soon, so it might have to be uh, a Villa game or, or, or I don't know, a, a Birmingham or a Baggies if we don't uh, stay up, but I think, we'll, I think we will. Um, in terms of going into next season as well, obviously we're going to be um, talking about changing it up. Um do you like what, what in terms of people who we've got? Can I can I push you for your favourite? No pressure. I like you all years, but you, Lee, you're the you're the main man. Oh, you yeah, you are, say I think that well, I you? say you. I say you are an expert. You know anything about Newcastle United? Sorry, guys, over two. Right, <laughs> wow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you say you still stick up. But I think Lee is the expert. No, Sam, you're not the expert. <laughs> he's gonna no, no, so, Callum, you're well, gonna then, to... now you're gonna get Sam upset, he's gonna to want to demand a new no, quiz. But uh, I, I one thing I one thing I but one thing is I have a thing Sam he well done to beat Lee in the, on the pool table. I come here last year you went to the for the nice meeting, you know, just chill out. Yeah, I'm not That's very good at time you know, I'm, I'm not I, I'm, I say this. I don't Did go. Before oh, we played. No, I, I mean I don't go. I, I say this now because I've been four times the last seven days. But I don't go to the pub much and play pool. Um. So yeah, Sam is always in the pool. Always in the pub. <laughs> I just want. I want to. <laughs> I want to say something. Um, luckily, uh, 2019, my granddad's partner's grandson treat me. Going to see the game because it's my first t- game went to Newcastle United match at St James at the East Stand against Leicester City, the the Carbo Cup game. You're a rich man, Callum, according to Simon. And especially, uh, especially uh, 20, 28. I just can't remember, but they would treat me to the St James Park tour, and I love it. And I really joined myself. I, I think I how big is the ground off for how lovely you know they reach at the top. Yeah, it's it's great that you've been in the ground. Obviously, living down Coventry, it's not easy from not living around the north. You see the other two lads on the on the on the stream can only echo that. Um, Callum, I want to say thank you very much for coming on and thank you for obviously jumping on fan reaction show uh, as well. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, come and see been and enjoy the rest of the season. Take care, well, mate. I'll, I'll say that lately. I'll we'll try it. Thanks, Callum. Um, so that was Callum. Do, do you remember when um, I absolutely battered you at the N- uh, NFTV quiz final? <laughs> Didn't batter me. Well, I did. I think you'll find it was it? a landslide. No, I don't think it was a battering match. What was the score again? Uh, me, a lot. You, not so many. No, I scored pretty high. It wasn't that much. It, it was only about... absolutely shite. I, I, you, I mean, that quiz was only good because you slowly watched... The dissolution of Adam's spirit. 
Oh yeah, I was, just wind, I was winding Adam up because I wanted Adam to lose and we're just picking on him. But didn't didn't Matt like score me ten less or something like that at the end? I was like, how am Matt? Sort yourself out, man. Wouldn't have made much so, difference. To be fair, no, to I that. would have been only been about four or five behind, so it's still still good. But um, I think Sam's a little bit upset by um Callum there. So sorry, That's everyone. Fine. <laughs> fine, fine. No, I just prefer facts. That's all. And Callum is speaking facts. What's the next goal, lads? <laughs> 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 um and big all the best yes. um i think we've all kind of echoed that a studio short term would be great for us as well um martin as ever is doing the promos as well we'll just see if we can get a couple of questions before carl needs to jump off uh as well uh here we go random question then uh do you know guys do you know what happened to the jolly dancer um the guy who would be kicking well funny enough simon um i used to go parking quite a bit in newcastle and you'd always be out because he used to work at sainsbury's and um, he used to always bump me in leather jacket, long curly hair. And he was always in bamboo. And I'd always talk about the tune from him. He's very passionate, but I haven't seen him since my days going out regularly, which was like twice a week. And I'm an old man now. I kind of hang me, get me hangovers. So I have hangovers for three days. So, yeah, so no. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Right. Okay. I don't know what's happened to him as well. Um, Brian is asking, what's everyone think of Sam's haircut? It looks like a what? A baller? He looks a like hair? a think that's what he means yeah looks good josh uh who has grabbed a couple of our lads on his channel of late as well um you've been incredibly lads smashing it thank you very much mate um everyone thinks highly of you as well he's spoken the nufc quiz as well um sam is clearly the boss of lee or you don't know what goes on behind the scenes (laughs) um clearly does (laughs) <laughs> funniest <laughs> moment on NFTV Sam's F up with Keith Gillespie sorry Sam that's that's only because I made it look worse because I kept repeating it and repeating it I knew Johnny wanted something on Sam so I just handed that ammunition over to, um, to Johnny we still on so well after that but I haven't spoken to him since <laughs> <laughs> uh, great to have Callum on as well Right, okay, we'll move on because we, we only planned this for about an hour and a half and we're going over as well. Popular videos. Um, so these are the popular ones that we get a lot of um, feedback from, from, as I've just got the comments on, let me get rid of that, from the from the uh, public. Uh, the Greenwood and Mullen, show was mentioned a lot. The Influencer, which I'm delighted to see. Uh, obviously, me and Carl, there's a bit of a break on that because we're doing this this week. So that'll probably return. Maybe we'll call it season two. Uh, the fan reaction show people have talked about it already tonight the black and white show is a popular one as well especially the whatsapp we're the only ones who do that the interaction on that the last words is everyone loves that because it's more in depth the watch longs now are very very popular so that's the main channel and then over on the second channel how the mag brandon's got his own series there hopefully he keeps that running fan clips under 23s catch-ups as well and uh, I've kept going football manager, and there was another football manager video coming out, uh, which was, oh, I, was, I was telling Sam, it was two hours long, I had to edit it down, it was torture. But those are the popular ones, and hopefully we can add a few more going into next season. I would love personally to have Matt have his own show, whatever it is, and continue to push that to get Matt on the channel more, because um, he's cracking up what he does, he just needs to show his pretty little face a bit more. Um, sticking with us, Carl, are you, are you shooting off? I'm going to shoot off, mate. I've got to get some more antibiotics. I don't know if you can see my face is quite swollen. Yeah, you look red, raw. Right. Yeah, yeah. red. Thank yeah, you very uh, much, Carl. We'll let you go, mate. Uh, thank you very much. For coming on. Obviously, he's ill at the minute, so appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate it. it. Speak to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, I'm still wearing a hat, oddly. <sighs> Just one of them things. People, people suit hats. Don't look <laughs> He's laughing in the background now. <laughs> um, Joseph in the backdrop if you can put your camera on i can't see it um and we can get you on um this one was the potential and you, some people might get an exclusive yes to listen to this um i don't think sam you know this either we've been Probably approached not. twice to have a charity game in the last couple of weeks so you probably know um, one of them, um, but the charity games possibly may come back. Uh, we've been approached twice by two other groups to continue the charity games, whether this is a five-a-side, a seven-a-side, or 11-a-side. You going to say well, that was time? the problem with lockdown one, wasn't it? Because we had a huge charity game organised. Yeah, we did with uh, Sutherland Fan TV, and mm. that was going to be the, the Academy Light, wasn't it? 
Yep. Yeah. Well, All in the name of be a game changer. We were going to have shirts done and everything, but um, yeah, COVID happened. Yeah, we hope they get that back. Obviously, um, that's probably going to be after the Euros because the Euros is going to be up very, very shortly. So we'll probably do a few watch longs for England, maybe Holland, if Brandon's up for that. Documentaries have obviously been in pause. I love making them. Um, COVID, I haven't been able to get out and about and speak to other people and what have you. So they'll return. Of course, the way, the way Day vlog is a very popular one. The drive down preview, driving in the car, me or Sam or whoever's going on the train or what have you. Instant stadium reaction from the ground. I think that gives it a bit more authentic that we're there and it's more raw. Fan cams occasionally as well. And then we've got in person interviews as well. So instead of doing them, over the internet, we can go into Newcastle City Centre and chat to whoever in a hotel face to face. Um, the last word of match clips, obviously, the last word is live in the minute. So, with match clips, that enhances it. And then, of course, over on NFTV Extra, the non league vlogs, under 23 vlogs, and the NUFC women vlogs as well. So, that'll be good as well. I'm trying to push uh, the little one, Jasmine, into that because I've just bought a a full Newcastle United kit where her son and mum is not very happy about that. But uh, I've gone all the way. Jasmine on the back. Toon mass, toon kit, the whole lot. Very good. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll I'll get them in to support the right teams. But um, I'm happy to see some of them come back. I'm excited to see some of them, especially the Weird Day vlogs um, as well. And the, and Got the to goal... um, Got to get to more women's games as well. Becky Langley's birthday today, women's yeah. manager. Happy birthday! I've been to a few, so I'm trying to get used lot to to come to, to come to some. I've for, I've been to what two or three this season. Obviously, then COVID hit. Be good to get used to come up because it's a great atmosphere. I can hear everything is so close um, to the to the lasses and all that. So next season, Sam, how is match day going to pan out? Here we go. In an ideal situation, in an ideal world, this is how our match day would look next season. So you would have the drive-down preview from the match day team, more on that in a second. And then, of course, you would have the watch-along from the online team. An instant online reaction to similar how it is now, straight after kickoff, someone's live, giving their opinion 10 to 15 minutes, and then the fan reaction straight after. That'll give us, at the stadium, a good two hours to get videos filmed and out. So that's where we're going to have a match reaction from, say, a Sam or a Johnny or a me at the, at the stadium. And then the score and the players can either be done by the online team or the match team, depending on timing. So if we're finishing at 10 o'clock, lads will not want to stick around the stadium half past 11 at night trying to get videos out. That might be an online team. And then, of course, fan cams, a wave log, and last word, especially the last two, will probably be done by me. And, of course, that will require a lot of organisation, a lot of teamwork, and probably fairness as well. Um, so we are hoping to have two different teams going into next season. Teams who are going to be online and teams who are going to be in match day, which I am excited about. It's going to be a lot of probably headaches, a lot of work. But um, how do you see that going, Sam? Um, One of two yeah, ways. So, <laughs> Final <Simon Aaron. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. You got to it look, it's it's oh, I hate the phrase the new normal, but I'm going to use it. Um no one knows what it's going to be like. So it is a bit of trial and error, of course it is, but yeah. we've everyone's found things that are really good about this side of 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 like fan reaction show and things like that and but obviously you still want the like between us we're at every game. So you've got to have that element as well when we eventually go back to um, to games yeah. sooner rather than later. So it it it's hopefully will um, bring you the best of both worlds. Exactly, that's what the aim. We want to go even further and bring you more to content, like because we've got the resources, we've got the personnel to do it. So why not? Um, Joseph, we're going to bring you in. I know you've been in and out and um, waiting very patiently as well. Can you hear us? Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can hear us. There might be a little bit of delay on it. How are you? I'm good, Lee. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Um, Joseph, have you, how long have you been watching NFTV? I've been watching this for like maybe a year now. 
So since literally since lockdown, has, and has that helped you get your, your, I don't know, it's not the right term of phrase, hunger for, for, for Newcastle? Uh, yeah, because um, watching your games, especially in the Bruce, has been like quite boring. <laughs> I think everybody said that. And what's your favourite type of video that we do? I like your yeah, um, your Greenwood and Milliner show and your last word. Yes, what a boy! And you said the last, did you say the last word there as well? No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think everybody likes the guests that we get on the Greenwood Milliner show, and I think the last word because it's very in depth. Um, with that as well, um, is there anything you would like to see change, good or bad? Not really, I can think of. Maybe change the presenter in the middle. <laughs> I'm only, I'm only, te I'm only teasing. And Joseph, how long have you been supporting Newcastle? Um, for about four or five years, I'd say. Oh dear, and all you've ever known is Mike Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't. Wouldn't Things it be will get better. It will get better, trust me. And wouldn't it be great if we could st we could do videos and make online content and without Mike Ashley, I mean, it would help the channel out, it would help just <laughs> your everyday fan out, just to be happy for a change. Um, this is going to be like a horrible question, but turn it into positive. What's your best memory the past four to five years support Newcastle? If there is one. Um, it would probably be... Uh... Um, my first game, which was um, six two against Norwich. Oh, what a game! When Alden four, when he's running off doing that. Yeah. Kind of picked them any better, Sam? What was yours? I don't know, but I had. Um, I remember that day. I had Wine Alden as um, triple captain of my fantasy team. So oh. that was a good day. That was a good day. Very nice. Very nice. Um. And Joseph going into next season, did you did you see any of our videos pre? I know you said you've been watching Newcastle fan TV for about twelve months. Did you see any of our match day videos? Um, yeah, I saw a few of them, and you were really good. Okay, okay. Well, we we'll hope to get a mix of both online and both match day videos, so we can bring you best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, Joseph, I just want to say thank you very much for popping on. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Lee. Thank you very much, Joseph. Look after yourself. Take care. Cheers, Joseph. Thank you. Bless him. I don't know how young he was, but I think there was a bit of a bit of a lag in there. Um, we'll go to your comments because we've got one last thing to, to wrap up, and because Sam's looking probably sick of his life, uh, how long this is going on for? <laughs> Some of us have got work in the morning. Yeah, I do. I have eleven hour shift. I mean, up that Joseph's like, yeah, and then I, I dare say he's got school in the morning. I don't know where these people get their energy from. <laughs> uh, I used to love the way Dave vlogs. Looking forward to see you coming then back. Thank you, Frankie. Hopefully, that's something I do. Uh, like I am, I'm watching you guys at work right now. Says Steve as well, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, big shout out to Rubenstein. I know he used to be on the channel occasionally. Good to see him doing very well as as well. Um, people asking what job Steve is. Funny enough, there's Mr. Green. We're looking forward to next season for NFTV. You should be at work. It should be. It should be. Be finishing up now, won't he? Be on his phone, Skyven. And there you go. Stuck at work. Nice. To listen. Everything nice about NFTV. Uh, Even and Joseph. Love that Joseph. And good lad, James. Um, Harry will bring you on in uh, in a couple of seconds, mate. Um, we're going to just talk about um, short and medium term goals. Um, podcast monetize. I know I've mentioned this to you, Sam. I wish. But um, the reason why I brought that up is because. Put a lot of graft into the green one in the Mullen show, which is great because Google Ads gets Google Ads money, but it doesn't get nothing on the podcast world. But I'd like to say that get monetized because then it's money back in. And obviously, we've talked about it off camera to try and go and pay for the subscription, but maybe look at a premium one instead. 
and hopefully that will help get bigger viewers because you want to change it up now. I think were you looking at Acast? Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that that they're meant to be quite a good um, podcast outlet, but you know, you're you're the expert in things like that, not me. Not so much I'm just, I used I'm to just here for like you know bants and just sex appeal. <laughs> um, so get the pot, get the green with the Mulliner, that is. I mean, we do put an odd one out on um, Newcastle fans TV on Apple and so on, but it's not as much. Uh, I've touched upon this already. NFTV extra to get monetized would be great. Twitch, we are pushing hard all of our live streams. We're live on Twitch right now. Always get streamed over there. We're trying to grow that platform again. Money income. Uh, the next one is new intros, banners, and tweaked logos. They'll be all be updated for next season. So that's probably going to cost me a bit of money, small bit of money. Um, we'll look into that. Uh, presenters doing more over on NFTV Extra. Uh, I push that channel a lot myself. I do push it hard. But if we can get a little bit more help for the rest of the presenters, because uh, I do feel it gets neglected quite a bit. More help behind the scenes. I think me and Sam can echo this. We want more help. We're going to have to next season if we want to push on behind the scenes from our presenting team. So that's going to be the likes of Carl, Matt, Johnny, and potentially a new presenter as well. Again, more help designing on thumbnails. So just use this example of where we're playing Monday nights in London. I haven't got time to design people's thumbnails who are online. They should be able to do that themselves. So that'll need organization. That's going to have to happen. Touched upon this already. G Atlanta has brought this up. Presenters improving their audio. I think that's quite a big thing. So having a mic. Um, not just that, but also having a good backdrop as well. Look a little bit more professional on your videos, even if you have to hide it with a green screen. Paul Toon Review does it so, so well. He hides his back screen because he's using the green screen so well. Um, I'm just showing off my kitchen. What's wrong with that? No, it just looks make a bit more better. I don't know if you're on your own, though. Um, presenters have their own ideas is another big thing. I touched upon this a little bit earlier. It's my ideas during the week. And we need a little bit more help with a presenter. So if we had, say, I don't know, if we had Johnny who I wanted to do a video on Monday night about a takeover, go and do it. Go and get it done. You've got a facility on StreamYard now. Uh, and that's get the same as Carl. That's, Matt, that's the freedom. And then plans uh, for Brandon. So Brandon is kind of a crossing over now, coming off Facebook. And you've probably seen him a lot more over on YouTube on both NFTV Extra and NFTV is now going to be part of YouTube going forward next season. So quite similar at the minute, it's trial and error with Brandon. He's done a couple of cock-ups of late, which isn't a bad thing because he'll learn from it and then he'll get better next time. So things like audio, not putting videos out without any thumbnails and not sharing it and you'll only learn and that's good for Brandon. But that's also the, the, the case for a new presenter because we are after a new presenter coming in. Not just to come on camera and speak. That's not what we want. We want we need somebody who's going to be another Sam, another me, helping behind the scenes, grafting. So we'll be looking at that very, very shortly. I've talked briefly touched upon this over on Twitter about it. And then shaping our online and match day teams. That's probably going to be a lot of um negotiation and who's doing what and just common sense, who's free, what can you do? what have you, uh, communication. That's the word I was looking for. Well, that's the short to medium terms I've got for the channel. Have you got anything different, Sam? Not really, no. I mean, it's all, like I said before, it's all going to be a bit of trial and error whilst we get to games. And look, we all have we all have jobs and things we've got to work around as well. So who can get to games, especially away games? Who's, who's you know... Who, how many of us are going to go down to to Brighton on a Monday night, knowing uh, certain TV companies? But um, yeah, you know, it's it's all um, it's all trial and error for the for the time being and a new normal. Ugh, I've used that phrase again. I hate that. Jane Atlanta, I'd love to see you not rest on your laurel. That's the one thing. Yeah, any, right. any tip for YouTubers? Do not stand still. Otherwise, you'll be overtaken. Do not stand still. That's a big tip that I give everybody. Uh, great World Lags, uh, excellent channel, uh, allowing myself and others no longer in the era to keep abreast of things all anyway. So thank you very much, Graham, for being a member. And Martin, smash that like button. Yes, we are live for two hours now. Uh, so thank you if you have stayed with us partly all the way through this. Um, question, football question, the last 10 years, who's been 
your best winger. Um, I'll let Sam think Pancrat. There you go. Pancrat's your best winger. And station hands down for me, Jonas Gutierrez. as I was replying to that question. Uh, we'll bring in a, a regular from our fan reaction show. It is Harry. How are you doing, mate? Hiya. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. I was probably a bit close. Um, yeah, no, no, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, yeah. I don't speak to you much because I'm not mostly on the fan reaction um, because I'm busy doing stuff behind the scenes, getting the description and what have you and last word set up. But you come on every week and I have to ask you the obvious question. Why? Um, well, to be fair, it's just good to share opinions and see what other people think. Um, I've obviously been a fan of the channel for a few years now. Um, probably... I, I cannot quite remember, but it'd be definitely first or second year back in the Premier League, so three or four years. Um, just good to share opinions, especially over lockdown, because that's when you all started the fan record, isn't it? So it just helps a lot, really, mentally as well. Just It's just good to speak about it, really, because we're all passionate about it. Just helps, really. And, yeah, yeah. and good on you as well, obviously, for doing it. Yeah, it's a good platform to have, and you're always one of the first. It always seems to be either you or Proudlock, or both of you on at the same time. It's like you just have got your own little mini show going on, the Proudlock <laughs> and Harry show. Um, don't steal that idea, Peter. Do not steal that idea. Um, but yeah, you, you jump in straight away to get your voice heard, which is fantastic. And then, and obviously Martin's just commenting on there as well. Evening, Harry. Great to see you on NFTV live uh, tonight. You mentioned you've been... Uh, watched them for about three, four years, and you've probably seen a lot of changes in the channel. Um, probably the good, the bad, the ugly, and what have you, like everybody else. Is there anything that you do? You mentioned fan reactions. Is there anything else you'd like about the channel? I, I, I watch a few of the videos, yeah. Um, I, I watch the podcast, not all the time. Sorry, Sam. But um, like, I, right. I'm a fan of the podcast, um, and the, the last word is always something that I look look forward to watching because it's just it's yeah well obviously it's these you're like the leader so it's like it's good to see something thrown together like a proper overview of events and it's like sums everything up because it's fan reaction and scoring the players it can all be a little bit heat at the moment can't it whereas when you're done with that, you might be angry. It still might be here at the moment, but oh, it's more of an overview. No mind. The last word I've gone on, if you belt as mind, I'm not afraid to, to let loose a cannon. Sometimes, and I think that's what it is, is like, we will not be afraid. If I have to blow me, blow it, I'll blow it. Um, yeah. I won't just be, oh, Newcastle got beat the day. I will just, I will tell her how I feel. And there's been... But it's a, nice um, to have that conclusion at the end of the day, isn't yeah. it? Mm. It is. And like the Brighton one, I was nearly crying again because I, I felt emotionally hurt. And I am, as I say, <laughs> I'm not a cry. I said, because uh, I know Sam's shaking his head, but I am emotional. I think that's what how fans can relate to us a lot more because I'll tell it like it is. If I'm angry or if I'm happy, I show it. And I think that's where a lot of relation, there's a lot of different people and personnel who are totally different. Like, for example, Johnny and Sam are used to are quite similar. These are quite reserved, which is, but there is a lot of fans who'll be like that so they can relate to you. Whereas Brandon's a little bit daft. I'm very, in the heat of the moment. Carl is quite calm until he gets a few bites <laughs> um, as well. And Matt's very jumpy, very excitable on camera as well. Um, so we do have a great mixture. And going into next season uh, with yourself, Harry, is there is there anything that you would like to see different, whether it's good, bad? Not, not off the top of my head, but having said that, um, obviously, if, if we're going back to games next season, yeah. And it'd be harder to maintain, but I think stuff like the fan reaction and stuff like that should be kept kept going. Um, yeah. Even even if so, if if one or two of you can't go to the game, but you're also there doing your vlogs, it'd be good to have the people at home because I'm a season ticket holder. So this probably wouldn't even be for me, but just for that reaction, for people who can't go to share the kind of feelings about it, or you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think um, the watch long is a hit now on the channel. It wasn't. It wasn't at first because it was. It was trial and error, learn, and then you are right. We might have someone who's online straight away giving a reaction, and then the fan reaction still having that voice for whilst half the team like could be me, Sam, and Johnny of the game. 
but it could be at home. It could be Brandon, Liam and Adam, for example, not at a game they could run it to allow the fans to have that reaction. I think that's important not to lose fact. And this might surprise a lot of people, but the last four weeks, 32% of our audience are from abroad. That tells you the scale of the channel that's got. 32% is massive when you consider there's 25,000 subscribers and the amount of views has probably had the last four weeks. 32% are from outside the UK. I couldn't believe that Like when we first started the fan reaction show because I used to present it a lot when we first started it. But I've took a step back because whenever I did, we never used to bloody win. So that's why I, I don't do it anymore. Um, not so much. I might have to do it now. We've, we're kind of safe. But I just couldn't believe Like in one show we had two Americans, two Australians, one in... Um, South Africa. Uh, yeah, there was a couple. There's a few from South Africa. There was one from somewhere in Asia. Um, Singapore. Singapore. I think there was one in like Indonesia as well. It's like absolutely crazy. Yeah. It's just it, it is incredible. And I think also, and Harry, you could probably mention that the relationship with the club fans don't have that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's dreadful. Like. As I, I heard you were saying before to the last guy on, sorry, I wasn't paying too much attention, but um, <laughs> living only through Mike Ashley, you said that to the yeah. last guy. That's, yeah, that's me as well. It's it's horrible. It's honestly, it's because you know nothing better. You yeah. know, it is, it you don't know how, what the good life was like. Like, it's dreadful. It, so, and it's like, it's like, it's not just our channel. It's all, there's also other channels, online podcasts as well. Whereas they've got nothing. There's no feedback back and forth from the club. So mm. the next best solution would be that podcast, that YouTube channel, um, that magazine, because that's the next. Well, we are real. Don't get me wrong, but that's the next communication with the, with the middleman between the two. And all we are is a bunch of fans who tell it like it is, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Unfortunately. Newcastle's communication is very, very poor. We don't have a great relationship with the club. I think it's better because of the NUFC quiz that allowed us to get a player and it's very hit and miss with the club. It can be very indifferent, but we've got great links with the Newcastle United Foundation. Um, so there's pros well, and cons. Well, I, I should just point out, like with the relationship with the club and whatnot, there are some fantastic people working at the club. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, no, it's no fault of their look. It, it all comes down from the top, and we all know who the problem is in Newcastle United. So it is just them. There's some absolutely inc- fantastic, brilliant people who work there. Yeah, and you look at the relationship that we've got, fantastic relationship with the women's side as well, which we want to push on as well, having captains and managers and vlogs going to their games as well. Um is there anything, Harry, if you had a magic wand that you could change about the channel? Negative feedback? We appreciate good feedback. I, I um not again, not off the top of my head. I don't know. Now I'm pushing you um, for that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> but um because because obviously just watching it, getting used to it, it's it's just good to see. But like not not off the top of my head, I cannot just say, oh, do this, do that. Cause I'm I'm no expert myself. So but you did, you're obviously doing very well because there wouldn't be 25,000 people wanting to watch if you weren't doing a good job. So I don't yeah. know, really. What What's your favourite type of video? Um, I, from Greenwood and Mullen and last, show, last word. No, but, um, <laughs> fan reaction for me. I just love it's jumping on and getting involved. And how long, you mentioned it was three, four years, wasn't it, that you've been watching um, do you prefer? I know you said the fan reaction show because it gives people's voices, but would you prefer more match day content? Is that where your preference is? Um, so, so you no, say no, just because <laughs> like late night games, I don't want to be going to bed any later. But, like, what do you mean by match day content? So, like, yeah, so do you prefer if you had, um, say if we had a match reaction, mm-hmm. two match reactions, one was from an online team, one was from the stadium. Which one would you prefer? Um, I don't know, to be fair. That's a good question. Um, I think it'd be good to get reaction from the stadium as well. If do you mean, I'm guessing that means if and when we're back at games. Which word? Oh, yeah. No, I think that'd be a good idea. If Obviously, both would be incredible. But like, if that's not possible, then... 
what about what, what, sorry, sorry what, what about because we get asked to do a lot of home vlogs uh, which I'm not personally keen on in a home vlog I prefer away vlogs because it tells the story a bit more yeah. do you think that's something what we could look at go back in and think well actually there's a market there for home vlogs um, no to be fair I'm, I'm probably with you there because um, a home vlog that if you think about it like a lot just of people will be watching or will be season ticket holders just wanting stuff like the fan reaction whereas away vlogs it you get the extra content with the journey and all that and then you're actually seeing footage and celebration the away end livelier and it's like different and not everyone's going to be there or know what's going on yeah. but with, with to be honest with with the home vlogs being a season ticket holder it's like it's not it, it, it's nothing it, that I would it, need to go out of my way to watch, if that makes sense. Yeah, and it, I, I, with the home blogs, I'm like, is it the same thing over and over? Is it the same pub? Well, it's is the, it the same, same journey pub? 19 times a season, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. Whereas, well, you've seen the wave blogs, stuff can happen. Some of the stuff I can't put in either um, as well because it would be red flags, put it that way. Um, so Sam's trying to think what? <laughs> Something <laughs> No, not viewing, don't worry, not, not viewing. Some stuff just can't go on the videos. Um, but, yeah, I think we will wrap up. Harry, thank you very much for popping on. Are you popping on on, the, on Saturday afternoon? I probably will do, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. yeah. Let's hope we beat one of the ES, ESL clubs. Yeah, I have said that right. Yeah, European yes, Super League. No. Right, Harry, thank you very much. Sure, yeah, cheers for having us. Thank you. Top man. Good right, lad. Always yeah, good on reaction show yep it speaks a lot of stuff uh brandon yes you are daft you are daft as a brush um and with the 32 percent of our community being international i think we'd love to see a home match material as well so brandon's flipping it on the other side i think that's why i try to bring that a lot of that in in the last words match clips inside the last word um to bring that as well maybe a match city tour guide that's a good shout as well um i've done a, i've done a stadium vlog on the channel, but I haven't done an up-to-date one for about four or five years as well. Andrew, who's been in the chat, see you Saturday, guys. Congratulations. Good dude, Andrew. He helped with um, getting Ali Bernard on. He did. We're going to wrap up. Uh, it's been a long one. Um, we did this on Instagram. Me and Sam waffled for like an hour. <laughs> I expected this to be long, but it's, what, 10 past 10. It's not too bad. Um, if you can, help us out by smashing like. Um, we are greatly, greatly, easy for me to say, greatly appreciated that everybody who subscribes. Uh, can we grow further? Yes, we can, because only about 48% of our videos being watched currently the last four weeks are subscribers. So there is definitely more room to grow. Um, any last words, Mr. Mulliner? Uh, Greenwood and Mulliner show, we're recording on Monday, so I'll probably be out Monday night. Although I could do it live Monday morning, I suppose. But then yeah. people have work, you know. I don't want to get people into trouble. And then, like, you're American, you'll still be in bed. So maybe I'll just put it out Monday night, UK. But, yeah, that, this is going to be a really good one um, on Monday. So please, if you are on iTunes, subscribe and rate five stars. And if you're driving in the car, stick it on your podcast, Bluetooth app. That's what I've been doing a lot of lately. Um, and we've also got the Red Men boys coming up as well. Uh, Liverpool, I think Johnny's got um, Ross. So keep an eye out for that for the preview. And then we do it all again on Saturday. Oh, uh, I'm missing. Are you done? Sam's missing from that. So it'll probably be uh, me doing a lot of the stuff. But um, yeah, we'll do it all again on Saturday for Liverpool away at Anfield. Not expecting much, but, you know, we live in hope. Um, that is it. Thank you very much once again for everybody for helping us hit 25K and all of the platforms as well, t Twitter, 10K, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you follow us, the website, and we're about to hit 100,000 followers, which is mental. Good night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.